could be used at that time with the new Illuminati. Didn't free his slaves, but yet had sex with them. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to start with the first one. One of his best friends was one of the biggest traitors of the war, which is Benedict Arnold. He was also a Freemason in the same lodge. <laughs> um, so, wait, so that's the first one. You can find a lot of other crazy bullshit to say about him. What's the second one? We're working our way up on it. I'm going to look backwards. I'm just lame because I never even did it. Not Reagan, it's just a whole bag of lames. Because he was openly bad. Well, not exactly openly bad. He was digging, but. <laughs> he was one of those straight up obvious actor people, puppet presidents. Like, the uh, he was an actor, though. The motherfucker was. No, literally, yeah, he was. Yep. <laughs> but before he became governor or whatever, he was an actor. Then, whatever. But, <clears throat> that motherfucker was like obsessed with jelly bellies. Like, or whatever the fuck. He always had like jelly beans and shit. Like, he was obsessed about like the different colors he would eat. And then his wife was a fucking obsessed. She was like a fucking straight up new age bitch. Like, but Reagan, he was the fucking he was all Christian and everything and did it there. It's like no, he wasn't Christian at all. That Christian go to his fucking as praise, his wife. Praise the Lord. Ask her what dates that he should do shit based on her astrological fucking <laughs> That's fucked up and that's a fact too. Come on, horse, why are you doing this? One of the biggest is your horse running out of stamina? No, my horse is being stupid. Uh, they're like, Here we Reagan go. was a good president. He was a good Christian. He was pagan as hell. Just like all the rest of them. Pagans and Gentiles. So we need a ride. What's a Gentile? Non-Christian believers. I guess I am one. Well, well, what would be the ancient? What would be the ancient term for agnostic? What's a pagan? I guess that would just be non-believer. I guess a pagan would be somebody who believes in. Oh wait, yeah, shit! That's a question. Pagan religion? Good point though. I think he just tried to make a point. Did you just try to make a point? What? What point? No, somebody said what's a pagan. They know what that is. Uh, I don't even know what pagan means. What is a pagan? Alright, well you just made... Whether you know that or not... You just made a good point in my head. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I didn't... I don't even know what the hell I just said. Or did. I'll leave you guys to the looting. I'll go ahead and deliver. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, sword. Right? Is there NPCs? I don't think we can get on this thing. It's like so one speed or something. Some wicca chick who doesn't know what the fuck she's even talking about. Talking about, talking about leaves or something. And Starbucks. That's supposedly a 
pay you. But then, at the same time, I, I think according to the definition of doing the pagan oh, also, it's like a reboot. Like rebo uh, like a religious bad word or something. Mythologies and stuff. <laughs> How do you separate somebody who believes in ancient, like Egyptian mythology, from somebody who is some dumb white, like Wiccan bitch who believes in talking to leaves? <laughs> I don't see them as being the same way. <laughs> also, because I know people in religion and scenario chainsaw over there, yo mama. Rain's going on over a little bit. It's all good. Okay, us yes, guys, do you know about the Aboriginal dream time? Originals in Australia with this whole <sighs> idea of this whole mythology or religion about something called the dream time. Yes, I heard about it, but completely forgot about it. <laughs> it's interesting. It is. It's very spiritual, actually. Yeah, but what's spiritual? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, sorry. I don't know. I just don't need to get stupid and do more about that. The promise came to you. I'm going to do it again. Let me guess, you guys muted the sleeping guy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I did. Seems like a transom. So. Dude, do you no know racist. somebody who's part of, um, what do you call them? Bush people? <laughs> Bush Tucker? Bush Whack? <laughs> I don't even know what that word means. Yeah. Hey, I, okay, 
skept I'm a skeptic, so I think the Dreamtime is bullshit. Then we were talking about the Dreamtime. Oh shit. Eliminate targets. Exciting. Cyberpunk audiobook tonight. You guys ever heard of the book? Hurt. Uh, <sighs> There's this cockroach that keeps circling around my room. <laughs> That's creepy, dude. It's pretty creepy. <laughs> What's the point of circling my, around my room? There's nothing. Yeah. yeah seeing a cockroach give birth is fucking wild, man. Mm. Okay. Hey. I don't want to see a cockroach. Yeah, after I talked about the cockroach, the cockroach just ran outside of the room. It's almost like... I saw one, let alone multiple, circling my room. Okay, okay, I can see all of them. At least tried to. Get out some fucking shit, and, like printer style, like torch those shit. Yeah, like, torture it. Yeah. Have you ever been a cockroach and it just pops? Just in a server with some Australians and a California dude. No, I'm not a California dude, you fucking fucker. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm California a lot, so oh. I just assumed. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there is. You might want to mute him. He's been asleep for a while. <laughs> he's, he's hilarious as shit, though, by the way. Yeah, oh. when he's awake. Uh, do you know what? He, he fell asleep because he's too good at first-person shooter. He's just like, oh, you guys are crap. I'm just going to take a nap, you know? You guys bore me. Wait, is this uh, Yo Mama? That guy asleep? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, Yo Mama yeah, was asleep. <laughs> Right up on like Adderall, and then all of a sudden we're just like he's asleep. He's just <laughs> done. Gone. Just done. <laughs> like, he was like talking insanely fast, talking like more than anybody, and then all of a sudden snoring. Like, it almost seriously doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, one dude. Fuck you, I'm not from a fucking California dickhead. Where are you? Where are you? Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Alright dude, good luck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Why are you running? Why are you running? No. <laughs> Why is this surgery for the coke? The coca? Oh shit! Fuck. Yeah, You're alright, buddy. I can't join you, Dragon. Oh, you can't? I, yeah. Oh, I can't we're in a mission. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Jesus. Um, Jesus. Fucking Alaska than fucking California. Jesus. Where are you from, anyway, my dude? Sorry, I had to misidentify you. Where are you from? Terra, terra firma. Terra firma. No. Oh, okay. Well, we moved. Have you ever heard of Olympus Park? Sounds like from the movie. <laughs> eh. I'm from Central United States. Oh, that's good enough for me. 
Not fucking California. <laughs> fucking dickhead, whoever said that. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Yeah, fuck you. Jesus Christ. Wait, I'm in fucking California? Jesus Christ. Ah, you shit, fuck another fuck. fucking cougar. <laughs> I can see all these one people selling. Like this this, this is a hunting mission. I'm getting hunted though. No. I need my rifle. I got a cougar on my back. I'll give it to you. from, what was it, Norway? Norway, yeah. He don't sound Norwegian at all. Doesn't mean he lives there. He lives there, man. Yeah. But he's not Norwegian. Uh, where is it from the US? From Wisconsin. No. Got a lot of cheese beer. Wait, is that a kind of a Eight trillion of them. Only two actual. So we're looking for people hiding in this group in this area. Yeah. Traveling the world doing dog fighting. There are dog fights here, but uh, you, you don't, don't want to. Yeah. We don't bet out. Shit. Oh, there's, um, there's three guys here. Are you dead? Can you take him? I am. Um, I'm dead. Alright. I'll search for other tracks to. I'll take care of them, I guess. Okay, I'm following the tracks. <coughs> um, assassinations. Oh, okay. So, wrapping the dragon doesn't sound like a person who would just be in Australia. I mean, hey? Australia, Alaska. What you mean, man? They killed my horse. Maybe he's really stoned. Doesn't make much sense. <coughs> Who, me? No, not you. Uh, <laughs> the guy that's not from California. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he's just a bit of a conspiracy. I wouldn't yeah. say theorist, because that's an accurate. I don't know. Oh, damn. How was your nap? I heard that, eh? I heard everything. Jeez, one minute I'm fucking. One minute I was playing, playing the game, and all of a sudden I was, uh, what? I looked at the fucking twice. I wish I could sleep yeah, like you. Uh, definitely not. Wait, where do I sound? Ever, yeah, since, I ever since I bashed my girlfriend, I can't sleep. Okay. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, wait, is your mama awake? Yes. You can do your thing now. Hey, yo, mama, you good? I'm here. 
Alright, so I think I'm going to have to open up my posse so that everyone can be in the same one. Wait a minute, I thought... Oh, shit, are you using dynamite? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking mad lad. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, you're gonna... Oh, he got out fast, holy shit. He did not appreciate you blowing his friends up. Oh shit, I got like 500 XP out of it. Yeah, yeah. I just got, I got 13 gold. <laughs> I like this mission. Okay, you should be able to join. Uh, Fuck. Uh, I think I just got a dollar out of it. <laughs> Man, what making one? some fucking money. <laughs> Somebody's horse died. What, Morgan? <laughs> oh, maybe you can join. Hold on, let me see. How many people we have? Five? Okay, I'll just make one. I got a private posse. One, two, three, four, five. I got a eight people posse if you want to join mine. I can make yeah, my own. Uh, 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 yeah, just make yours, I'll join you then. Right. Just click in your pass and just, just, go, under your pass. just go abandon just passing. Abandon. Uh, what the hell? Hold on. Hold up. Uh, rolling tide. It's open. Uh oh. Ah, good night. Ah, two D two. Where are you? This pass cannot support another persistent member. Oh, hold on. I'll take care of that. Uh, let's see. Who do I know? Is yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll try again. You in? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, you guys can do whatever you want. Um, for a minute, I'm going to see that mission because I haven't seen it before. <laughs> oh, Swordinator, you bad guy. What, are you going to throw me in the water or something now? Hey, drum off. Oh, shit. No, no, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to carry you until I get bored. You can break that, my dude. Hey, come back. I'm slow. Ooh, shit. Put him on back. He's on the next level. Don't be to the ground. I do gotta admit, I like making more money. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Check this. Oh, yeah, he was just okay. <laughs> oh, boy's gone, tell you. So, who other than Swordinator? Mm -hmm. Fallout 76. I'll go Fallout. I'm gonna wait until it's five dollars. Um, <laughs> like, I fucked up my whole side. I'm left alone. I'm still gonna go, buddy. Get off. 
give up shit, I'm evil. Kill you, uh, no. I gotta admit, I'm making my uh, honor level really, really low. Not as low as it can be, though. No. I'm not. I'm all, I'm all, I'm high, I'm all, all goody goody. I am not goody goody. <laughs> not after today. Mass massacres every once in a while. Yeah, I make it fun. So is, is it like GTA? If you if you are in a red zone, mm. you you red on the map. Mostly? If you're a player killer, and the person that you killed will see you as red. Holy crap! Which is easy. The only time that I start Are you on time? Did you get shot in the head, dude? Are we gonna travel... Are we gonna travel all the way down here? Um, I will. You guys can just send me down. Uh... Do you wanna teleport to me? Cause I might, uh, get spawned in from there. Yeah, you guys will spawn in. Who's this naughty guy that's on my horse, eh? What? You can ride it if you want. I just want to jump on. Oh no, he's back to sleep again. Even sleeping fucker. Even Mama Archibichu is fun. Pretty good Arthur impression. Arthur, Arthur Morgan, antagonist of this damn game. You disappoint me, man. You say from the game you're playing that I already admitted that I don't have. Story mode, the person, the yeah. main character that you play in story mode. Uh, Fucking degenerate. Oh, is this a hideout? Yes. Yes. Oh hideout. shit, there's a hideout where. Oh. Uh, I'm a clear hideout. It's kind of far away from you guys. Oh, we're right next to the hideout. Oh, you guys should clear out that one, I'll clear out this one, I guess. I'm doing oh, oh shit, you're I'm right. You know, you play one time. Like, do I wanna run? Did we like kill the leader or something? I think somebody else. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, the axe. Fuck. That was brutal as fuck. This thing came out of the hideout. We don't all have a limited money. I can buy every single thing. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm wearing purple to be five dollars. Yeah, but I'm gonna pay 60 bucks for a game where you can buy them actually. Yeah, 
that bad. Hey man, it's not shit. Be careful what you say now, boy. I've seen all them movies. I've already seen them all. I've seen Clint Eastwood and all them movies. Django. Just give me Django. Not really that interesting. I grew up on this shit. Django. It's a good movie. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe my ex uh, girlfriend's brother goes, Have you seen Django, bro? I go, No. What? You're missing out on a good movie. I was like, Okay. And then I watched it, and then I was like, Yeah, I don't know. It's just. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's just the setting. I thought, I was like, okay, this is racist on so many fish. Yeah. Black people, it's racist. Black people, like, it's like, not a good movie. It's Quentin Tarantino, who loves to use the N word, is a white dude. It's like, a fucking piece of shit. Honestly, I like him. I like some of his movies. But Quentin Tarantino is a racist piece of shit, dude. Nah, you don't have to be yeah. racist, though, to, to have a sense of humor. Oh, no. Like, um, no, I, no, no, no. What are you talking about? Because when it comes to humor and comedy, I believe there's no barriers. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Now, Quentin Tarantino has been in an interview where he said really fucked up things. <laughs> that dude. Is fucked. Even his own dad has done interviews being like, I don't have it. It's fucked. Like, like, I would have interviewed with his dad, who was an awesome actor and shit. Anyway, yeah, Quentin Tarantino, let's disagree to agree to disagree. Let's, let's agree to disagree. That sounds good. Let's agree to agree and disagree to disagree. Mm. Alright, whatever you say, dude. <laughs> Agree to disagree? Yeah. Why would anybody ever do that? That's why I like that you make some videos. Agree to disagree. Well, we're already disagreeing. I mean, we're like, uh, in a conversation where we're disagreeing. I mean, just like, let's just agree that we're just. Do you know what broccoli and anal sex have in common? Hold on. There's a thick shaft? No. If you have it too much as a kid, you don't like it when you're older. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the other one better. I like a thick shaft. What? Okay, so I'm going to go to the mission. You guys ready? I'm ready. Raiden's ready. Okay. Well, uh... Oh, nighttime. Oh, yeah. So do you guys do some fishing? <laughs> yes. Yes, in fact, I do. I still like to fish with the bow, though. That's way more fun. Oh yeah, I got it. Man. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Ruins a fish, but it's pretty fun. Yeah. You can get the big one so you don't have to hope to get it. I'm a Christian. Praise the Lord. Have you always been 23? No, I have not. I was uh, ranked uh, 17 or 18 actually just a few days ago. 
Yeah, I find that if you go to San Denis and just start killing a bunch <laughs> of cops, that helps a lot. It's pretty good at XP. Yeah. I, I did, did that, that, that mission that we were doing uh, to kill them each and every one. I did that for a little bit yesterday. A friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, I did or no, uh, I, did I did that, that with, with uh, Black, Black, Black Retro. Retro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he and I did that. Or no, two days ago, something like that. Yeah, I didn't say that much. Moral compass never comes in when you're kind of like, eh, I don't want to do that. I mean, a high school of a shit ton of cops. That's why I can do this damn mission. <laughs> Old man Johnson. Huh? Old man Logan. That was a good movie. That's a good movie. No. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking movie. I think we just disagree on everything. <laughs> no. Okay. Old man Logan is an amazing comic book. Okay. Oh yeah, I like the comic book too. Awesome. But, Logan the movie is an okay version of fucking Last of Us mixed with Wolverine. Yeah, they actually CGI'd um, Hugh Jackman's face to make him look older. Let's take the video game Last of Us. Right? The one with the fucking... Dude, looked like Wolverine fucking game. With some young chick. Oh, let's make it X-23. Which, then they screw up all of X-23's origin. They fuck everything up. Caliban is nothing like Caliban from the comics. Which I love Steven Merchant. That dude's fucking awesome. But, whatever. No. The Logan right, movie dynamite. was a good movie. It was a good movie. If you... Oh, are you Don't talking about like the adaptable or as it no, is an adaptable? You watch the movie, if you watch the movie Logan and you think of it as like some sort of like alternate timeline of Wolverine. What the fuck? I got blasted. It's a good, it's a good movie, but. Let's go over here. You can go up. Is that what you're Okay. I think I can get you. The movie was garbage. The second one was like. Sort of garbage. Like, if they wouldn't have gotten rid of his powers and all that. Yeah. Dude, they really ripped this stupid little robot out of him. Like, he's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? They ripped this little robot out of him. That's stupid stuff. And then he slept with the gill. Oh, I had a heart attack. I ripped the. Yeah, I slept with the Asian jig. <laughs> and I ripped this little robot out of my heart. Oh, my father. Dude, my father was. Are you, you, right? you from, like, Nebraska or something? Is that why you didn't want to say? Is that, is that why you didn't want to say where you're from? You're embarrassed? You just got cornfield and shit, or? Because uh, I'm from a state where fucking gun violence is fucking higher than anywhere in the entire United States. It's not my fault. I'm not going to know Do you have a gun? <laughs> Yeah, but maybe he's just smart with it. Responsible. Oh damn! This man needs to be taken down. Not you. Fuck. No. The guy in the game. Somebody's <laughs> eye out. Fuck, dude. Oh, that movie was pretty. <laughs> I remember that movie. Remember, bro? We're getting festive. I'm getting festive. Get your yeah. eye I should start watching watch that movie again. With my BB gun. No. Okay, shit. Uh, I don't know. Alright, we gotta go. Don't start blowing shit up. Alright. Yeah. Bitch. Illinois. Oh, wait, she's coming, though. 
from Chicago oh. is like the violent hit. It has some of the hot, some of the like most strictest gun laws in the entire country, except for like Washington D.C. And it has the most gun violence and deaths of all of the entire country. <laughs> and that's like weekly. <laughs> Yeah, so, let's see, I think ours is really suicide rate. Oh yeah, it's pretty damn strict in Chicago. Yeah, right. One of my One friends, friends he's from Illinois, and uh, came up to Wisconsin. We used to do seasonal work together. He's like, hey, look what I got. And he, you know, double barrel, fucking tactical shotgun. <laughs> and fucking, uh, this is tactical shotgun. Yeah, but it's gotcha. like, look right. out, wait. Oh my god, sword nader. <laughs> Go right there, buddy. Sword nader. <laughs> yeah, you are lucky. Depending on where you live, you can't really get too far. It's not like Alaska where you can buy it. No, it's not like Alaska where you can actually use your pipe. Fucking polar bears. I mean, Jesus. Polar fuck. bears is way up far north, my bad. And, like, I guarantee that if Chicago had polar bears, they'd be like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> He's like, um, uh, yeah, you can have this and this, uh, rocket launchers, uh, only if you are gonna fight giant, huge bears that will devour you. Hey, hey dragon, dragon, do you, you know, know what, what uh, you know what arms list is, yeah? And then, and then the, uh, then sounds familiar. Chicago would be yeah, like, you can, it's, it's like Craigslist, Craigslist but for guns. Mm. Chicago oh, yeah, would yeah. be like, yeah, yeah. when I went up to Alaska, I bought a, I just like looked online because I was getting a hunting rifle down deer up there, and uh, I bought a, a 30 out 6 for 300 bucks in the parking lot of Freddy Meyer. Mm. That's how funny it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all gun deals are pretty mad. See that like the vagina version? Vagina version? Hmm? Is that what you said? The vagina version? I didn't know there was one like that. Is it supposed to be pink or something? Judge Judy, yeah. this is real cases, so, real yeah, people. Forest, forest judge. So without anybody Googling it, can anybody quickly talk about what the judge Oh, is? I know what to do now. Taurus judge. It's a uh, revolver, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's about all I remember from it. I used to, uh, well, I used to get fucking NRA magazines in the mail fucking every day. <laughs> I got him, they just kept fucking getting sent to my fucking shit, so. You fucking, you are, you probably are military. What else are you doing? Oh wait, Raven, what are you doing? Sent to your suit. Me? Oh. Getting raped by Swordinator. Well, they don't come to my house anymore. Dude. Yeah, but like why? <laughs> what did you do? leave the, uh, thing? Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do something quickly on my... Posse, just give me a second. Like, I believe in the Second Amendment, Second Amendment more than probably... Ah, oh, so that, so that's how you do it. But, all these Second Amendment want to join the NRA, from the NRA itself, Sean for like, registration system, we're like, don't check, don't check, check. with this NRA. <laughs> So what are they just about rifles? Is that all they're about? What's the name said?
Could you let Sean in? He's uh, the guy that joined the posse. Me, I'm not the posse leader. I am. But I'm talking about like the party so that he can talk. Oh, anyone can open the party to eight people. I don't know who keeps making the party seven That's people. Seven. There we go. Yeah. Oh, really? I wasn't the one making it. Somebody keeps changing to six, seven people. Because I think max is eight players you can play online together. Plus, oh your mama God. R2 B2 should probably be ticked from the party. This is gonna be tough. Can we take him or no? He's still a sleeper. Raven Khan. Uh, he's alright, he's my mate, but unless you got somebody else that wants to join as well, I can just kick him. No, no, wait, it's okay. There's one over. We already got yeah. someone. Hold on, wait. Yeah. Wait, and you seem like an awesome person, but... If my, I have my best friend in the world I play with, but in real life, he's my best friend, I play with him. If you fall asleep, I'd be like, no, he's at the party. Like, he's asleep. <laughs> Oh yeah, this, uh, yeah, this, he's, he's alright, he's, I know, like, compared to other toxic people that I played with, um, he's a decent player, I just, yeah. I just overlook all those boundaries and just see the good qualities in him. He's awesome! I think he's fucking, I'm actually annoyed that he is this because he's hilarious. Okay, yeah, well, he, yeah. Yeah, he told me he had, uh, yeah, he told me he had work today, it was probably why he's so tired. I don't know. Yeah, but, okay, so, you know, what, don't you... <laughs> don't leave the party and then snap. Yeah, he fell asleep and obviously he's probably very, very comfortable with us and he just trusts us. Like, a baby. <laughs> you might want to have to mute him. He's, he's a pretty loud star. So. I already did. I'm just saying. Uh, what? Just give me a second. Oh, I, I, see what, I see what he's talking about. It makes sense. <laughs> okay, who else is doing that? Holy shit, this is next level. Just want to get a piss? Next level
fuck. If someone was sleeping and they made that noise, I'd be like, oh god! You're getting taken over by aliens! Like, I'd be fucking sleeping the fuck out, dude. And then all of a sudden, like. <laughs> it's called the seizure snow. So many assassinations. It's a sort of like. Oh, holy shit, there's a lot of people. Oh, god. Bang. Time in the moment. Oh, wait, did you just kill these fuckers? Uh, yeah, yeah all of them. Who's on the back of my horse? Not me. Probably Sword Nader. No, I'm on my own horse. Nope, yeah. No, Sword Nader is on the back of my horse. Yeah, I'm on your horse. I'm too lazy. To <laughs> oh, fair enough. Alright. <sighs> We're gonna go for this little lonesome guy over here. Are you, are you using the thoroughbred on Swordinator? Me? Nah, uh, Swordinator. Are you using the ultimate pack horse? The, the thoroughbred? It's, it's the racing horse. Oh, you should use it because the more you use it and if you get increased binding level, it becomes faster and whatever. Two bucks. 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 Two Are we going to the next closest one? Are we, are we um, completing them three down bottom and then we uh, start to work the way up? Um, yeah. I guess. Oh, wait, what's going on? I'm wanted. Why am I wanted? We have a witness. Take care of that witness. Uh, I saw it I think I... So I think I solved the posse why you can't join my posse yeah, problem. Because uh, I don't know how to kick members out of my posse, that's why you couldn't join. But now you can probably join because I fixed everything. <laughs> yeah, what time will you be on tomorrow? Yeah, me too. Ever since uh, I had that incident happen with my ex-girlfriend, I've been very depressed lately, so I need something. What happened, my dude? Shit happens. Shit happens. Just try to gouge my eyes out. Bad bad. In there. Kick my face. Have not. There. Try to pull out my dick. Well, pull out your dick? Yeah, all the time. Try, try, to, try to pull out my balls. Nah, no, it's a uh, sort of a tactic where you think that she's wanking you, but she's actually trying to pull out your dick. Uh, no. See, my ex bitch did. Uh, I'm depressed about it. It was like four or five years ago. She could punch me in the face yeah. and do whatever the fuck, but she would never punch me in the balls because she was like in front of me. Yeah. So that, she even hurt that shit. Yeah, my ex punched me in the my other ex punched me in the balls and I just bashed it. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you punch my balls for you bitch? Yeah, you're not having any fun tonight. You just punched me in the balls. I can't do it. <laughs> And then my, my ex was, my other ex was like, she full strips me naked, lays down in the bed next to me. Strap on on. Like, yeah, yeah. The guy doesn't need to put on a strap on. Well, if he get punched in the dick, it's all fucked up. I guess. <laughs> Just gotta wear your spaghetti noodles. I'm going with the story. Hey. You get punched in the dick and your dick's all fucked up. Well, yeah. Oh, 
it was a whole, you missed the whole fucking story, man. It was a hilarious story. If you go to your camp, you can take out your camp as well. Two Australians, one Alaskan, one person from Norway, person from Mount California. I was like, cool! I can talk to Australian people. That's fucking cool. And now I'm fucking like, two Australian people. Barely talking. It's not fucking. It's fucking American people who live in weird places. <laughs> I was not part of that Yankee business. Fox. The Yankee Fox. I mean, sure, I'm from the north, but it's as far north as you can get in America. Sounds like Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. I'm getting tied up. I didn't know people had the power. Shit. They have the power to do this? Fucking didn't know. actually pretty fun for co-op. GTA was fun but it was just stressful just getting matched up with huh. people that are not that good. <laughs> are you saying that we're good? At least I have GTA. Yeah, I, I just got very sick and tired of people joining the heist and they just keep dying and stuff and it took me like hours just to finish the freaking job i was like fuck fucking wasted yeah wasted five hours of my life shit what gta got bored yeah then i created um well like think about if you were like uh spider-man said it right after I did what yeah legit 
That's what I wanted to do. That's why I was doing Bogdan over and over and over. To make all kinds of money. To get weapons and better equipment so they could take fucking everybody out. <laughs> And then we were like, oh, if you do the bond, then you might get... It's like, no, this shit's been around for like a year and a half now. And they haven't patched it. And I've never heard of one person ever getting fucked with for doing it. So shut up, you paranoid American. That's <laughs> true, bro. Oh, yeah, good thing that you brought me here. I got some heaps of... Stuff. Yeah, I got buy some stuff. Uh, valuables, pelps, animal parts, fishes, yeah. So if anybody wants to ever play Grand Theft Auto, I'm gonna do the Bogdan project, make tons of fucking money, which I already have done. And, uh, in the game. No. Sorry for interrupting, by the way. No, it's fine. Sorry. This party is a public party, so anybody can talk. Yeah, but I interrupted. I just wanted to finish what I was saying. I'm done, though. I'm done saying what I was saying. Yeah. Plus, I'm not playing a game with the other things, the other talking. More important than anything I have to say because you're there actually playing a game. You're like, no dickhead. Very <laughs> directly. Nah, no way. I've seen one and I know what they're like. Even if they don't talk, I just look at their face and go, yeah, this guy's a dickhead. <laughs> you know he's a dickhead <laughs> because he's. He's hiding the fact that he doesn't want to show his true colors to you, you know? Yeah, I should know this is invisible. Yeah, same thing, I can't see my horse. No, I can't see my horse either. I'm kind of like pinkish. This big run. Reddish? Like, kind of red. Like, not like Indian, like, not like a Native American red. Or Indian, who is it called? I'm like a mixture between like a weird red, so their body has like weird brass shit that comes over it, and then I guess tan? I don't know. Like, uh, like, dude, I've been in parties before where I've said I've. Okay, so I've been in parties before where I'm like, I've never seen a black person. People automatically start being like, you're racist. And I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I've never seen a black person. You're in Chicago, you're in Illinois, how have you never seen a black person? Well, because, I don't know. When, one of the first things that we learn when we're children are colors. <laughs> <laughs> so, go to your. You know, maybe you have one, maybe you don't. I'm an artist, so I have a, um, you know, a really expensive, like, colored pencil, like, thing. No, I don't have crayons, but we used to all have crayons. Everybody goes crayons. I don't accept it. I have three, um, three costumes I can wear. So, yeah, it's from the ultimate pack. Take, take your crayon out. Oh, what the hell? Black. And then whenever you think you see a black person, take that black crayon, which is the color of black, which is almost the color of onyx, which is like a dark elf. If, if anybody comes to me and says, I use a real actual black person, i be like, you found a dark elf. <laughs> I mean... I'm not saying that in Africa there are people that actually have skin color that is almost color of black, but there's no black. You, none of you have probably ever seen an actual black 
colored person. I don't know. I've been to Africa. I've seen these black people. <laughs> Yeah, but is it black though? I mean, you don't see them when it's dark out, so pretty black. Uh, yeah. I guess in America we only see black people when it turns dark outside and they go on their little mischief. Mischief race. You know so what's this mission? What are we doing? <laughs> oh, shit. Black guy. I have a guy No, it won't let me accept. And my horse is still invisible. Yeah, so is my this. Alright, I'm gonna get off. Never we'll seen see a black guy get off tomorrow. I've seen an albino person. Alright. Well, yeah, see you guys. Alright, see so, ya. Yeah. Take it easy. Adios. I'm behind us. That's bullshit. Like, anytime I say I've never seen a white person, people are like, I've seen an albino before. That's not a white person. You're white. Like, extremely pale, like, really weird pink colors. Really gross. Like, if they were, like, actually, like, a straight up white color. It might not look as sweet. No offense if any of you are albino. Do we talk to you being dead? I'm like, I'm dead if you want to know why. Mmm. 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 Do that. Um, I am um, looking at a full one. I think I have to be level 36 to own. Right? Mm. And I am. Um, there's a button up oh, saying rock. <laughs> red rock. And I actually stole that button. I need to be level 32 to use. Nice. I want to do that. Australia, but in America, when somebody dies, everybody just like makes a huge giant line and then like walks and like looks at the person's dead body that's like filled with chemicals and shit to make them look not as dead as they actually are. It's really fucked up. My will, uh, I'm gonna be like, do not put chemicals in you. 
Like, I do not want to be some weird fucking... They'd probably do the same thing in Australia. Would you rather just be dead and then dead dead? Or would you rather be dead and all your blood pumped out of you, your dead blood, and pumped in with like other shit, and then they put makeup on you, and then all these people walk past mm. your dead body and go. <laughs> I want to do like one of, I don't know, it's kind of hard to decide, there's like four ideas, you know, it's like either like, they didn't, uh, uh, what was it, I think it was Snatch, maybe, that movie, the English movie, mm -hmm. and everyone get, every, like the, his mom dies, like, everyone gets super fucked up and has a great time. Pikey actually, I believe, no, Gypsy. Well, that's the slang for Gypsy. Well, um, it was a different place. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. Or, do what they do in Japan, and then, or maybe not all of Japan, but the Yakuza what they used to do. They would uh, skin their family members and have their tattoos in a picture frame. That would be cool. Um, Nazis used to, um, put, um as, as, um, large, 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 large ch ch Oh, yeah, uh, lampshades, yeah. Yeah, that's true. But they were fucked up. They didn't do that out of honor. They were just fucking weird. <laughs> I think they're all weird. They're all fucked up. Nah, all fucked up. They just that. came out as called, as called Overlord. Have you, have you yeah. seen it? Have you Overlord? No. Do they have these Nazis making lampshades out of people? No, it's um... It's a, it's a, it's a way I can make, um... A zombies. There are super soldiers. There's a, the Nazis are making super soldiers, but they, they're kind of, um... Yeah, if, you, if you're dead, because they have a the serum, you turn into a zombie. If you are alive, because you only have a serum, you come into like a super soldier. Huh. Never seen that. And I yeah, actually just can't say now it's called Overlord. Not very original. <laughs> There's a couple of jump scares in it. It must be a horror. A war horror. Oh, yes. I have seen the trailer for that. No, no. Yeah, I remember when I first watched it, the trailer, I was like, Oh, cool. It looks like a war movie. World War II movie. Alright. And then it started getting really fucked up. In the like, World oh, War II okay. Nazi movie. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the trailer for that now. Hey, hey, how did you rob that dude? You said you robbed something, huh? Um, it gave you options for a rob. about this. Yeah? It did not seem like they actually had some sort of... To rob the guy or to actually steal the thing that you were No, I went into the book to check out yeah? what, what they have. And when uh -huh. I went um, one in one of the um, items, they had, um, had like square to rob. What? Anybody ever heard of Project Paperclip? Uh, no. Okay, well, you need that kill weird these guys or Nazi them? shit. Just kidnapped them. The United States okay. took ownership of and basically cleansed all. Like, they, basically, the United States acted like they were the Catholic Church took a bunch of Nazi scientists that did horrible things and cleansed them of their sins. And that's <laughs> not cool. And one of those Nazis was the first person to head NASA. Look it up, it's all fact. <laughs> what do you mean wow? You should be going wow, you should be going Oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> Warner Von Braun? The main actor in the, in the, this, um, the movie is I think Warner Von Braun? I believe that's a dude. And Project Paperclips basically Black started Man. NASA. That's popular around here. Yeah. 
that was way too, uh, you can sound like an ass, Adrian. <laughs> it's only because I just watched Kung Fury. <laughs> oh, there's two guys in my spot. Oh, you need a horse for this one, sword. So there's a, I don't know if any of you gone Americans, Americans who have left this country and playing around in some other country. In actual America, there's a new... Welcome back. Everybody, but I don't like being attacked by like um, culture. But it's weird. You can just run straight across the map, sword. Yeah, there's no cliffs or whatever. being tagged uh, uh, Muslims are attacking Asians some Muslims are very nice Being attacked, sword. Mm. 
Hey, I joined this game for a while, actually. So. Like, I'm not one of those white people that's like, you don't even fuck, no, you don't even No, I do, I join. Like, they're great, they're the nicest fucking people ever. But I also have a history. Yeah, take the horse. Oh, yeah, okay then. Because you probably get bonuses if you deliver it there. I right, should go this way, uh, so I just go straight down this way. just people's attitude and insecurities and also just their impatience and level of maturity I guess egotistical doesn't have much realization egotistical or confident which one is it Because the uh, last time I heard was egotistical are very arrogant. Oh shit. <laughs> because if I actually know all these things and these facts and these things to be true, like, it's not actually egotistical. It's actually confidence because I know these things are true. <laughs> yeah, it's just a level of uh, accuracy and. I mean, you can't. You can't actually subject it. Like, dude, I don't even believe. Okay, believe nothing unless you can research it and find out if it's true on your own. Yeah. Do your own research, right? Yeah. But even then, yeah. if you actually research things further into yeah, you just go in depth. Just get science and quantum physics and the reality of consciousness and what consciousness is and then with the theories of what dude you start it gets into a crazy realm <laughs> yeah you start to see the world that you think are facts yeah are just nothing it might just be a dream and some other dream just gives you a lot of clarity you know and you can't just say or tell a person you can't just tell a, a humble person just tell them you're egotistical when that person is actually being humble and he's just being the way he is. I mean, an egotistical person will never ever. They will always refuse to see people's potential, you know? Truthful. But I think I'm, I'm truthful in an egotistical type of manner. Uh, being confident, being humble, and being actually open minded. That's. No, I don't. See, I think humble is is more of a like I I might have that type of aspect, but I don't use it that often. Really. I think I use like a more of a um, uh, harsher type of psychological tactic when I'm talking to people. I'm gonna accept this mission. Yeah, like I don't know, like psych psychological attack is sort of. I mean, if if you're not, your mind is not built for like mental frustration. Tactic. Yeah. Like attack. Like I'm not, I don't want to attack 
<laughs> well, okay. If somebody continuously attacks me, I, maybe I'll attack back. But escort the carriage. I'm pretty sure I'm. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I'm e a little egotistical though. Like, let's just say, in a good way. Well, I don't know. I look at people in, gen in general, and I look at all the things that I know, and I look at their lives, and I analyze them, and, and then I, I don't know. See how much money I've got in XP. Where's your other friend? Did he disappear or something? Why was it down there anyway? Oof. Should really get to bed, man. Ah, oh, okay. So you sort of do afternoon shift.
open if you work somewhere you would know that both of your smart you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you can just bullshit your way through every single thing that they could be doing wrong. <laughs> Oh, we just gotta help deliver it. Can we keep it? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we've got to drop it off. Yeah, that's alright. We've got ten minutes to do it. Let me see where bounces is in the map. Holy shit. Podcast. Let me just check it out. Is this two Aus this two Australian dude. Mm. 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 Hilarious. Mm. Reckon we can cross over the river. find the waypoint <laughs> now we're just gonna go drop this off Yeah, I'm scared that uh, I might fall down, that's why. Yeah. You know? Oh, we gotta go anyway, fuck. Alright then. Makes sense. Do you have your own horse? It's got a bing bong. Bing bing bong. Yeah, I'm coming. Join up on Raiden or Sword? What level are you guys? Level 20, 21. Damn. I just hit 18. Nice, 18. Are you ready to party? Legal. Legal. <laughs> Legal to mingle. Yeah, I'm good though, man. I got my dual pistols at like 16. Oh, pretty good. How'd you get dual pistols? Oh, yeah, you gotta buy the second holster. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Um, there's two of them. One of them is the horsemanship, and the other one is called the deadbolt or something like that. But um, they both unlock at level 25, or you can pay two gold to get it early. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. So so I did two treasure maps, and I ended up with like two gold. So I got that. It was worth it. It's totally worth it. It's all good. Fucking stupid horse. 
Doesn't even know how to fucking jump over the fucking fence. No, nah, somebody stole a fucking bag. You guys fall on your posse? No, nah, can fit up to eight people. Uh, Let me know when you join the session. I'm, I'm, I'm going after the one that I can't stole the bag. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine now. Nice sleep on the way. Fuck, they're serious. Don't fall asleep, man. Oh, yeah. You can definitely use yo mama RGB because you definitely Those guys dropped the bag already. Alright, what's your name? Batnig. Batnig. Okay. <coughs> uh, I can't say an invite yet, I'm in the uh, middle of a mission. Batman. Who am I joining on? Sword? Sword or... What the fuck? I hit... Back is it raining? Yeah, can you join it? I can see you. I can see you. I'm definitely in now. Where are you guys? And, uh, one shot me. How come they can one shot me? I can one shot them. Headshots. 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 I'm coming to back you up. Yeah, that uh, the bomb. That's not you. I'm looking at the people on your ears. Yeah. 
There you go. Oh, dude. You guys are Where did you think you were laying? I actually picked it up um, going to waves. And, uh, I'm pick the man. I'm gonna pick me. Not even roll over. We used to run. We used to run. Which way? Which way are you going, Sword? Shoot it out with them. There we go. There we go. Okay. Anybody on here know who a dark skin is? This symbol for it. Shoot your version of it, yeah. Mm. 
This horse better fucking stop. Mm. I'm gonna shoot it. Pretty sure they're related. the argument though <laughs> I was gonna say what where is the argument and what's the argument oh. <laughs> they sound the same but he thinks his band sounds different because it's some special kind of rock or whatever no it's executed it's a, are you talking about a game console is that what you're talking about
like. We listen to the same thing twice. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Did someone fall asleep? I even watched the music. Yeah. No. I and that would be who. I actually wish they were awake right now because they're super funny. Oh, that's your mama. <laughs> oh, so did anyone, did anyone watch the Game Awards yesterday? Did anyone watch the Game Awards yesterday? Or last night? No, I have a job. Okay. Is that a player? I can't even see I can say Rockstar won three awards. And... Guess what game came out? Uh, guess who was the nominee for... Uh, game of the Year. Uh, God of War. God of War became the game of the year. The game of the year. Oh, you mean God of War, the newest one, the latest one. Yeah, uh -huh. let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, a couple new wall. Is anyone a Mortal Kombat fan? Never heard of it. Yeah, what is that? Have you lived on a fucking rock? Yes. I have been moving with John Dan Claude Van Damme. No, Mortal Kombat, yeah, the video games. There's John Claude Van Damme. I'm pretty sure Claude Van Damme is that. Dude, yeah. Pretty sure Claude Van Damme is that. He fought an Asian guy at the end of it. He got his fist in glasses and shit. Close pump action shot. I'm pretty sure he racked his hands in glass and they made him do the splits with some ropes or some shit. Because I was gonna say, those are live action movies. I'm talking about the video games. No, this guy killed his brother in the ring. All right. Yes. Yes, I know. I seen the movie. It's not. It's I not more than that. It's Street Fighter. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Australian. Oh, no, no, that's that's a different movie. That was that's just the wrong. At least somebody called it out. It was a joke, I think. But like, at least thank you for at least calling it out. I was waiting for somebody to go. You're talking about the shitty Street Fighter movie. It's like not. Actually, not even. To be honest, I only said John Van Cobb Van Damme because he kind of looked like. Uh, I was just saying, I wasn't talking about the Street Fighter live action movie. I was. Then after talking. that, I just started talking about like Bloodsport and Kickboxer. Kickboxer. And all the other movies that John Van Cobb Van Damme. But. Yeah. You didn't hear me? I was like, yo, I was like, he fights that Asian dude and he messes his hand in glass. You have you ever listened to the podcast, How Did This Get Made? Ah, uh, no, I should. Alright, write it down right now. Find a pen or a pencil and write it down because you will fucking love it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, Mortal Kombat, that movie where that Bruce Lee, he like, he was it's not Bruce Lee. Liu Kang. Yeah, Bruce Lee. Was Looked like Bruce Lee, Lee, but just looks like him. But <laughs> no, that's, no, you're talking about Tekken. So Liu Kang. No, I, I'm just gonna get it to the point. They're making a new Mortal Kombat 11. Yes, I already saw the trailer. UFC 3. Is that what you're talking about? Bruce Lee is in UFC 3. Yes. Yes. It's Liu, Liu Kang. Kang. It's with. It, it, it. No. Yes, it does have a new movie coming out. It's just. It's... They're gonna remake Game of Death, but it's gonna be like computer generated. It's gonna be Games of Death. Then they're gonna make an open world RPG about it. 
Just like Bruce Lee running around like fucking yellow clothes. Just like ah. <laughs> Spike just never fucking Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh shit. <laughs> it's Absolver, but better. <laughs> Oh, there's so many enemies over here. What did you guys do? Holy crap. I like ran into all those people. I didn't even know you guys were fighting everybody over there. You know what? The last resort is to do this. Oh, what are you doing? It's gonna be a new Fallout game. No, we just, we just gotta run away from these people. Far Cry. <laughs> Response in a new lobby. Yeah. Yeah. That that doesn't sound very pleasant, doesn't it? tried to make Johnny Depp over there. It's called a bong, you know. That's a good one. Shit, there's like all kinds of people in there. I need, I need my vermin rifle. Bolt action, there we go. I need that vermin rifle, bro. I don't know why my dude can't aim for shit today, bro, but I can't. Look at that. Where? 
Yeah, I've been following vaping quite heavily since this came about. Because okay. my little brother got into it. I did it to quit smoking. And I've quit now. Like, all together. I don't do anything no more. Oh, that's good. I'm starting to finally get some headshots in, man. This is driving me crazy, bro. I can't hit heads. It's just my life right now. Yeah, you smoke cigarettes. You don't even do it. Either way. I don't know. How far is he? Do we need to be on a horse to catch him? Do I need to get my horse? I'm calling it as I'm running. Just in case I need it. Nah, because it's just uh, a few chemicals. It's it's not even anything crazy in the juice. This guy is like hauling ass. Huh? Oh, you rope him. Then you, then you get off. Shit, don't shoot me, motherfucker. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Hold it, one. Make sure you hold it. Hold it, two. Don't yeah. hold it, two. Hold it, two. No, your, your aim button. Your aim button. Don't let go of your aim button. Supposed to kill him. So have you done your research into that? And that's, and you're saying that that's healthy. be honest, I don't give a fuck, man. I think we should legalize everything up to shooting heroin and deer on. I don't give a fuck. If you want to sit in your house, you want to sit in your house and shoot up heroin as long as you don't fuck with me, I don't give a shit, bro. Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like, once you start robbing people, alright, we'll throw your ass in jail. You, you robbing me, right? Yeah, but if you just, but if you just want to work McDonald's, flip burgers, and shoot up heroin on your off time, I don't give a shit, dude. Right. Do whatever the fuck you want. I believe in the freedom to kill yourself if you want. Go ahead. Oh no. Sorry, right, back of a horse is coming.
That's the thing. You get your freedom until your freedom encroaches on mine, right? You can get out, drink, drive, do whatever the fuck you want, but you hit me, now you owe me. Yeah. No, see, because you're talking about just pure anarchy. I'm talking about sitting in your home and not bothering nobody else. Yeah, you are because you're you're talking about going out into public with your uh, with your bullshit. You know, what I, mean? I think you should sit at home. Just sit at home. Like if you're gonna do heroin, you're gonna drink. Stay at home and drink. I don't even go out. You know what I'm saying? You come out and you fuck my day up. I think you should go to jail. What are we doing? If you're drinking and driving, we take your license. You can't be trusted with cars no more. You can't be trusted with cars no more. You can't be trusted with cars no more. What are we doing? I'm just saying, if a nigga wanna sit in his house, fucking shoot up here at one. Shouldn't nobody be bothering him. Let him do it. Exactly, long as he don't step out the door, fuck it. <laughs> well, usually they don't come outside. Usually they come outside once they lose their house, you know. I mean, I think about it, with legalization would come, it would get cheaper. Yeah, it would get safer and cheaper. Because they would do search on it. They would do research on it. I do too. I'm not gonna lie. If you wanna snort it, drink it, put it up your butt, I don't give a shit. It's fine. Yeah. Uh huh. This guy going? I got him. Oh, 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 Oh yeah, I'm looting him. <laughs> I think even the floor is in the body. I pick him up. And now we gotta deliver him. You get a good amount of money with that? Um when I max out my full like inventory, it's just like a chicken sixty. That ain't too bad. If only the, if the load screens were faster, that would do the, something like that. But loading takes me forever sometimes. Can't do it. Loading screens is like yeah, mine's longer than that. I just got a regular slim. Saddle man.
about to hook my horse up. Bro. What? <laughs> Do they have that on online? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I gotta check that out. If you're gonna make if you're gonna make all the drugs legal, like, it's kind of hard to like, encounter somebody if you're doing something. No, it's not. Honestly, you you draw the line. It's very easy to draw a line. You say you can do your drugs. Look, you get absolute freedom until your freedom encroaches on someone else's. As soon as you as soon as you hurt somebody else, you are outside of the bounds of your freedom. You know what I'm saying? Batman. All we gotta do is draw laws based around that. It's a quick it's American for you. But, you know, we don't. Because, you know, the government like to be in everybody's pocket. They gotta keep me with me. Indeed. Indeed, they always. I think you're, I think you're misconstrued, man. If you think America's not free, you need to look at Chicago. People are so free, they kill each other. Alright. I've got an idea for you. If you don't think America's free, I want you to go to the, like, you know, I can see that they Okay. I want you to go somewhere else. I want you to go to, like, some other country. Say, oh, Shit, so you just killed someone? So, 
So, hold on, hold on. So, are you in the United States? Are you in the U.S.? Okay, so if you wanted to sit and do nothing, right? Who's gonna stop? Who's gonna stop? Not, no, no, just answer my question. If you want to sit and do nothing, who's gonna stop? Exactly. There are there are countries right now in this world where it, once you hit fighting age, you will go to the army for two years of your life, and then after that. You don't go to the military, you can't even look at it as the same. Trust me, dude, as somebody who actually went to war, you saying that the draft is the same thing as being put into the military. On draft day, I mean, bro. Yeah, but it's not even the same. Hey, hey, it's not even the same. The draft is the same. Listen, the draft is not equal to, to having two years mandatory in the military. It is not equal. You want to be free? You want to be free? With that, all these other forces that you're going to learn about? Go to Mexico, bro. Go to Mexico. Go to Mexico. Mexico is always on. Right. You kill somebody in the middle of the street if you just walk away or drive away. Anarchy, right? I have money. No, I don't even know how to have money, bro. Yeah, it's about having balls. Okay, you do the shit and you walk away. The cops down there? They only turn their head if you got a man. Yeah, exactly. No, no, they do give a shit unless you got the money to make them not give a shit. That's true. I mean, if you get away without. Before they get there, you can just get away. You don't, think, you don't think they make their paycheck with your ass in jail, too? But if they you stop, say, say, say they stop you and you have like like a whole bunch of kilos in the back of your fucking truck. Yeah. That's when you pay them. 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 Okay. Yeah, exactly. You have to have enough money to make it work in the U.S. You're gonna be like, you're gonna pay me. I'm gonna take all the kilos of this fucking shit. Fuck you. They're gonna take them. They're gonna take that's what's fucked up. They'll send you to jail and they'll still sell your shit. <laughs> oh, that's you. Damn, my bad. I didn't even know that shit. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was random. I thought it was there by myself. What happened to the yeah, All I'm saying, brother, if you're sitting in there and you don't think you're free, you need to. I need to look around. A little bit. Alright, bad name. I just. I just. You fucking idiot. I understand exactly. I'm sorry. Who is this? Is this the right thing? So fucking mean. Like, it just came out and then. I don't know. But why? I don't know what's that. No, hold on, hold on. What kind of government is the United States supposed to be? We are democracy. Fuck you, you just lost that fucking every respect that gave me. Okay, hold on. No, I believe the Constitution. Tell me how it is. We're supposed to be a fucking constitutional republic. Tell me how it is. Tell me how it is. Have you read the Constitution? Yes, I have. We're supposed to be a constitutional republic wherein very small levels on the state type levels. Democracy has its little game, but like on the upper levels, no. Yeah, the like democracy leads to socialism. Yeah. Socialism leads to communism. You can't. Democracy is bad. The founding fathers knew that, and they were dickheads. And they were like, "Ha ha, we're gonna give you this super awesome fucking. We're gonna make the best government we can ever make." You need ever. to get off YouTube and do some reading. No, this is the best. This is the only word I've ever yeah. I don't think you have to read this. I'm, I'm, like, I'm dude, once the, dude, if once the internet goes down, 
I'm gonna be the most famous motherfucker on the planet because of all the books that I have. You have no idea. Sure. Sure. A library. I can, I can prove it. I can send I a have picture one book. of all my books. I have one book. Uh, I have one book. Yeah, if you have one book, I hope to God that it's William Cooper's Behold a Pale Horse. <laughs> nope, it's, uh, it's how to make and fresh one. I have one book and it's called Climate. Mm -hmm. And I need you to roll up my books. I need my book to <laughs> okay, I like that. That was awesome. I don't know why. Yeah. I, did that. <laughs> I was gonna say, what do you use? A hard cover version? Like, just to roll your shit up? Jesus Christ. No, I don't know. I used to. I don't know. Let's talk about the game now, bro. We can't join the one. Join up on. Join up on Join up on Raiden. Anyone? I'm heading to this. No idea <coughs> where we're going. Who's a white ranger? Oh, let me just I'm trying to wow. get to my bookshelves here. <laughs> what was it? Okay, Legacy of Ashes: The History of the CIA. Oh, what's this one? Borderlands of Science. I'm not sure. Well, see, well, the, the weird thing about I books is, is in your face. And here's the really, Albert, here's the Albert really Einstein. Well, look, here's the really bad thing about books. Okay, it was that that they're written by whoever wants to publish right? Oh yeah, like Ideas and Opinions by Albert Einstein. That's a good one. It's, yeah, but not, I'm not saying all books like that, but I'm saying like anybody can publish a book. It doesn't Read take history all and that time. Much. Stephen Hawking. Read Three Little Pigs in the Bay by Wolf. I have that's actually a good story. It's a lot of Heidegger being in time. I'm just looking at the I'm just looking for the big name. Oh, the big one here. It's fucking Charles Darwin. Descent of Man. Uh, let's see, what else I got? Oh, Visions. Michio. Michio Kaku. Which I think Michio Kaku is a fucking asshole. I don't like him. Oh, The Art of Shaolin Kung Fu. Ong Quit Kill, whatever. Whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> Again. Oh, Fingerprints of the Gods, Graham Hancock. I have not read that whole book because he's a dickhead. I read Those a lot of it. Oh, oh, like Fingerprints of the Gods is not a movie. Are you thinking of Stargate? No. Fingerprints of the Gods is a fucking book. I like, I like Graham Hancock. I've read two of his I don't like him. He's a British dickhole. <laughs> and... Mm -hmm. Mm. And that Aaron Shock dude is even more of a dickhead. What about John Wood? Is, oh, oh wait, what is this? Oh, oh, what do I got right here? Oh, Zachary Sitchin, The Wars of the Gods and Men. Zachary Sitchin, The Cosmic Code. Uh, gods and Spacemen by fucking W. Raymond, whatever the fuck. Uh, Yo, friend, bitch. Well, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Get over here. Yeah, oh, oh this is how about the Stargate conspiracy by William Pickett and Clive Prince read that whole fucking bullshit. How about the fucking... Hey, I'm just going to my library, but it doesn't yeah. exist at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just looking at my books. Dude, why are we just... Oh, here we go. Old school copy, only copy 25 fucking oh, cents. Is yeah. Are they making shirts of the kids? Memories of the future and self history to the past? Who are we? 25 cents. 25 fucking cents. Hardback, old school. Maybe the Virgin Russell? No, no. Virgin Russell is all over the place. I'm just gonna wait. Somebody's trying to say I'm the fuck something about my books and whatever. I got books all over the place. I'm gonna keep going all on these books. Don't really read them. <laughs> I read much of them. But my whole point was that I have these books and the fucking shit. In the 60s. 
system goes down. Guess who's gonna be the big old library? You and about a million of people that have copies of those books. Really? I don't know any. I. I. Now, hold on. Hold on. You, you, you were about to say anyone. you don't know anyone that else that has those books. No, no, I don't. That's okay. a really no, no, no. small. Smell. That's actually a very, like, all, every book you have is actually pretty common by. I'm pretty sure all of those are top sellers. Not only do I not know anyone who owns as many books as I do, I don't know anybody who owns any of the books that I own. Again, but that's you personally. You yeah. have to figure they are a worldwide top seller. Are those not, are those not all of New York's Bestsellers, they should have a sticker right on. I know no, Grandpa. At all. I, I don't know, know what the fuck you're talking about. Are you kidding me? None of these are top sellers. I, I know Graham Hancock's a top seller because I bought it in New York's top seller. Yeah, and I think, yeah, and I think Graham ha Hancock is a lying piece of shit. Yeah, he's days. not the only one. Charles, the Charles Darwin book, also a New York top seller. The yeah, Einstein book, which you got, also a top seller. Charles Darwin's brother was one of the top people who started using books. Yeah, I can like be the only person with those books, but they're all they're all top sellers. Like I said, they're all worldwide top sellers. They're not the only one that actually books. <laughs> like really? I'm saying you and about a billion, a million or so other people have those books. Yeah. Hey, they probably got the red Like you had, you had yeah, like that. Not a lot of all these. Oh no! That's a good thing about what weapons. About it's book? a copy of the it's original, like, which means it's all the same shit. No matter who has like, it. What, what, what do you got? The Anarchist Cookbook no. too? Huh? You got yeah. that one? Well, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, if something is a big book, you have to have more than one of the big popular. Hey, but at book. least it's reading. You gotta give it that. What? There's no, there's no proof that he actually read any of it. Oh no? <laughs> okay. I'm saying, like, he can have, like, a billion books. He can have a whole fucking house full of books. He's too high right now to experience you, bro. Try me. You're too high, bro. Try you? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What is that going to do? I don't know. If you say that I haven't read books, that like would imply that you have or something. So no, it's like, just, there's, I'm, I'm just saying, there's you. literally... There's nothing we can. There's nothing we can do that you can't just open a book like, oh, hey, well, what's on page like 80? You like, oh, hold on, uh, oh, it's right here. There's no, there's no way we can test the fact that you've read every book that you say you have. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. it'd be easy to test me if you were smart. You could just test me on one book. Fuck! I hate this stupid horse. Say one fucking thing, and then give me only a few seconds to answer. And then if I couldn't, you know that I wasn't. You can't give somebody but like that. That, does, that doesn't work because then that relies on you having a decent memory and being able to remember the information in the question. Humans in nature don't have that great of memory to be able to call all the Okay, look, I will say this. Whether you read them or not, you have to swipe it on the left. I literally have insane amounts of mythology memorized. Who, who the fuck discovered the United States? Five seconds, five, four, eight, three, eight, three, eight, three, eight, three two, one, eight, 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 Everybody wants to oh, Can you bring up creationism and evolution? <laughs> so God made the United States? What the hell? He, he made the planet, so I mean, theoretically, wouldn't he have made the United States? Because it was here before we found it, whether you want to believe that or not. You can't the be that is, anything. The question is, is, do you love all, all types of people? Not really, no. no. There are some people I can't stand. Like who? Right. Blacks or Mexicans? No, stupid people. Oh, oh just right. in general, Hold on. stupid people. Hold on. About, like, if, race, if you had to choose, if you had to choose between blacks and Mexicans, <laughs> I'm not saying that. But, uh, you want 
Okay, it's, not, it's not even about a choice. Thank you, Nate. Go ahead. Mm, no offense. I don't know who you are. Uh, I do like blacks more than Mexicans. Through personal experience, the Mexicans have been assholes to me. And all I was trying to do, all I was trying to do, get some fucking money, dude. Fuck. Please tell me, really? <clears throat> Never fucking so being weird. dickheads. Black people are always cool with that shit. Where, where like, do you live at? Where you from? First of all, well, this happened. The most, ex the most largest uh, exposure to like Mexican people was when I went to Florida to work for like a week or so. And everybody's Mexican okay. people. It's all enough to Mexicans get to the bad as well. That's why like, they were like such dicks. Yeah, I'm looking at it. When you come to California, bro, Mexicans out here. Thank you, bro. Living, bro. Oh man, you missed the conversation earlier. <laughs> Does anybody what? in here remember the conversation earlier? <laughs> what the fuck? I think I was bringing up how California should totally be able to leave the United States. Yeah, except for the answer. Did you they say would? that? You know I was listening. Uh, you gotta kill them and stuff. Whispering to my homies, anybody who is listening in on that, that is not a white person. You're a racist ass fuck. That's what you are. <laughs> hey man, if I'm racist. Would you like to do Actually, not. I, just, I actually think that the, the, whole, the word is just stupid. Like, I think somebody who's called somebody racist, like, okay, so I actually know the racist. You know the racist. I swear it's the money. I can tell like, there's one person called the racist. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I know it's the racist. Yeah, the racist. Yeah, the racist. Yes, I know him. Yeah. Believe me. So... I don't like many things. Those are so fucking racist. Yeah, I need you guys to help us be funny. I'm not kidding. Oh, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Like, black people have been really racist to me in my life, but Mexicans, you, you oh, fuck are not good in What? If you're walking through a Walmart and a black person starts calling you a racist name and you're just buying something. You're not you're doing anything wrong. <laughs> or, or, or maybe have some mental disease and probably related to the system. You're thinking of Muslims. No, those aren't black people. No. Uh, what the fuck is the Muslim? I, I knew where I was going. They probably share just a bit too many genes with their own parents. Okay, so what's the deal, bro? Look at that bullshit there. Okay. White people are super horrible, right? I might. I might grow up You're with white, the, bro? Are you Caucasian or I, I grew up with a dad who was, said some pretty racist shit when I was growing up. I have never looked, I've never looked at someone it was a different color than me, or whatever, and said anything racist to them. You know how many times I've had people that are the opposite color of me look at me and say racist things to me? The weird thing about racism is that it's subjective. 
Shit to me, just like why the just randomly? I have no idea. Just ran I'm like, I'm just standing in line at Walmart. And some racist what fucking the? black people just be like, with the cracker. And I'm like, what the fuck? What? And I just look at them, and I'm not you joking. Must have I'm not single, you must have a single, you must have a single word to describe this. Okay, well, I'm not joking. I'm not joking uh, at all. Never in my life have I ever. Look at so much race or color. I don't like the word race. Yeah, I was gonna say I I deal with black Mexicans, fucking Hindus on a regular basis. Nobody ever says racist. Yeah, I've never said a racist person to anyone. No, I'm saying they've. I I work with in every color you can think of more than once, probably five times or more. Been called racist shit by people that. I saw what you gotta deliver the other bag. All I know is if you inherently think that people are a certain way and you think they're racist, you are the racist in that scenario, just so you know. No, I actually think that you, if you think a group of people are a certain way before you even know any of them, you are a racist. Oh, yeah, I think the supposed human race is a certain way. You know what I'm saying? If you automatically racist? assume that all of anything is any way, you're you're inherently racist, bro. Like you need to so is that, is you need to reflect on that. Huh? See, that's some shit that uh, that's some shit that somebody who's a racist would say, right? You would always. All right. So here's where somebody where somebody who isn't a racist is gonna pop in <laughs> and say that the, the whole race thing is bullshit. So. Everybody needs okay. to change this whole race thing because, because everybody is actually different. If you're one who joined the party, heard the dumb shit, was like, nope, I'm out. 100%. Just white, respect everybody. It's not that hard to respect everybody, bro. It's honestly not. That's what I'm saying. I don't respect anybody unless they prove it. Yes. No, respect is given and then it is received. Right. I'm gonna Good. say that right if now, you, if you walk into every situation in your life not you giving respect and respect it, then you're looking at life wrong, buddy. No, like I said, yeah. respect is earned, not demanded. No, no, respect is given. It's, it's earned nah, when you meet somebody, you know nothing about them, you should give them respect out the rip. Until they give you reason not to, you should show everybody respect. If you don't feel like everybody if you don't feel like everybody in the world and you got some problems. I think you should give no one respect. Well, you should give you should give people You should give people of your color respect, that's what you the benefit of the doubt, maybe. But yeah. you should show everyone respect out the way, unless they show you otherwise. Mm -hmm. You should show everyone respect. Okay. There's no reason not to. Is that so hard to understand? Mm -hmm. Is that so hard to understand? Is that really so hard to do? I'm not saying you have to give anybody a hundred dollars out of your pocket. I'm just saying you <laughs> should some respect. It's really not that hard. Like it's the simplest thing in life to do. Okay. So does anybody realize? Okay, you know how they say that everybody's the same. We're all humans. Right. Hey, yo, Raiden, you gotta join those. We're not. I keep trying to go. Guess what? We're not. I don't know where they are. Racism thing is ridiculous. There's this whole other race thing that's actually, actually if you good. Look at the science. You read science. You will find out that we're not all just human beings. We're not. We're all different. Like, there's Denovians. There's fucking. Neanderthal makes sense. We're not actually and all. There's still zero reason to disrespect anybody. Well, still. Uh, what? No. I mean, why, no why, how, do we get, how do we get back to eugenics? How do we get back to eugenics? <laughs> right. to, to eugenics? Well, that's where these guys are stuck. That's, what you're that's where these guys are stuck. So that's where no, these guys I'm are not. Stuck. I'm saying no. There was... no when, you, when you start breaking down individual, like, fucking people like Neanderthal that's, oh, that's good point. eugenics. Oh, good point. Wait, good point. Uh, behind the scenes, yes. Um, 
the you higher some, the you smart some people general call you. Back to eugenics somehow. How the fuck did that happen? No, I went to the point. No, I went to the fact that everybody says that we're all homo sapiens, but we're not. I'm not even a homo sapien. Homo oh, sapien. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm a homo sapien sapien would be a black person who basically has genetics straight out of Africa. That would be a homo sapien sapien. Yeah. But we're Dude, I've been trying to tell him for a minute that he's retarded, bro. He ain't read none of the videos. He just said we're homo sapiens while like fucking never learned Latin. Race war and all that bullshit Holy fuck. Put races off. Like, why haven't they taken actual science bro. that actually says that everybody's different? And use I that. Can't that type I mean, of right now. I think that would be a dumb thing to do because, but I mean, I don't understand why they haven't done it yet. <laughs> I just like yeah. because everybody's yeah. not. Who's who's the pirate? Kick the races. Africa. Kick the races. We're not. Oh, oh, Some people actually just are. Just the one. They actually just are. Just the one. Almost sapien. Sapien. I didn't okay, catch my voice, man. What's up? <coughs> this nigga is stupid as fuck. Actual I hope he's on fucking YouTube, man. But, bro, time. Well, Raiden's broadcasting somewhere. Other things happen. Uh, um, this dude really. Cool. He really, he really like, like. He really he trying to say, say he's not racist, racist but everything he says is racist. <laughs> And that's what I was trying to tell him. I was like, dude, you, you say you got all these books and you might have read them, but you didn't reflect on any of them. You know what I mean? He didn't reflect on any of them. Yeah, but a lot of the books he's talking about, if you if you read them, man, they tell you at some point in time or another that you gotta you gotta respect people. Especially when you're talking about mythology and shit, you know. Whatever from like, come on. Neanderthals, because I actually think that Neanderthals I just try to respect you, that's all, dude. Like, I don't give a fuck what religion you want, what the hell you want, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna show you respect. You disrespect me, I'll disrespect you back. We might have a war. Is it really? Do you get the, um, the platinum to, to spawn every now and then? I've heard something about that, but I've never seen it. Yeah, I'm sitting at 140 bucks right now. I need to more money. We're not. We're not. And you get XP. Yeah. See, that's why I like hunting too. You get XP. Let's go get XP. <laughs> I saw another one. Yeah. Um, there you set to each of the three stores, and then you reset and go to free run continue. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's supposed to be like 500 XP each time. I want to try that. I'm gonna go build up some dominoes. Pretty much everybody is going to pass it back up. Even black people, too. Even though they're the ones that are actually going to save you. Oh. Oh. Crazy as fuck, don't I? Are you gonna like die? Not he honestly sounds on it. 
But that's what uneducated people do, though. Not, not even uneducated. It's miseducated. It's miseducated. Well, he said his dad was a racist, so you know, I rubbed off. He lost my respect once he started choosing between blacks and Mexicans. I mean, who the fuck says that? Really? I had the racist be more more racist to me. Because you're a racist as well, bro. You gotta understand that. If you're gonna be racist, then you're gonna be racist to you, bro. No, no, no. I right, you're not, you, you don't own this fucking land. You don't own shit, bro. Like, don't feel like you're the like if you walk in a room, don't feel like you're like no, you're nothing, bro. You're the same as whoever the fuck is inside the room, bro. You're Hold nothing on. better, my nigga. Yeah. Trust me. I yes. They're, they're there. You're there. I'm anybody. Sure. I'm saying that I had Mexicans be more racist to me personally, face to face, than the most hard to But, but I have had <laughs> more often It's just that the, the most racist. Oh, I'll play on shit. Dude, I've never said a racist fucking thing ever. To <laughs> any of That's why I haven't respected you. I haven't respected you either, bro. Why are you feeling? Just relax. No, I don't. I don't think so. No, when it comes to on, on talking, you might say racist. Like, yeah. I have no, I have no okay, idea. Okay, you just like stop talking about racist shit or whatever. You haven't said shit about the game. Are you fishing or what? What are you doing? Just getting two tens, bro. Bro. All right. No, my my point was getting into how. There's no point to be made, man. Just let it go. Uh, Any point he did have, he fucking washed away from the world. Whatever points you got, walking well, racism and hatred, just let it go, bro. Let it go. 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 I would choose to be Chinese only if I could be American and be Chinese. But. So if you could change your <coughs> race, what would it be? I just told you, Chinese. Oh. That's weird. I don't want to be Chinese. You know why? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, no homo though. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, just, it's just what they say out there. No, like when I was in Kung Fu, like in Jewish culture, I see you. No, not at all, believe me. <laughs> but. Uh, no, my seafood told me that, like, my whole. That like the way that I built and all that kind of stuff is like, perfect for Kung Fu. But like somewhere in my head, which was probably actually racist, I'm like, yeah, I'm not Asian. Like Asian, they could probably be better. Kung Fu. It's actually racist because we would probably even think that. It's not about uh, their race, it's just they're mature, bro. Just mature. There's more mature people than others. It's in their blood, probably. There's some, I, I believe there is a such thing as genetic memory. No. And like, I want to be like a fucking no. genetic that's, memory. That's inherently false, and I can prove it. Yeah. You ready? I'm, Do, I'm you, Do you live near horses? Do you live near horses? Do you live near horses? Yes. You, do you ride horses on a regular basis? No. No. So could you just jump on a horse and just take the fuck off? Mm -hmm. well, I'm doing the same thing. No, there are. I like it. So, there, it's false. What? So, there, it's false. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> because your ancestors rode the fuck out of horses just 200 years ago. How do you know? Maybe they're really fast runners. Because like, everybody in the fucking world was riding the shit out of horses 200 years ago. What are you talking about? You don't know? 
I do know everyone in the fucking world. Yeah, that's, that's a fact, bro. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. Like, everyone in the world is riding horses too. That's a fact. There's no arguing in that. There were no cars. That's what they were riding. That was the motor transportation. They were either fucking walking or on a fucking horse. Oh, you know. Yeah. They were walking on a horse. They were kept riding. Like, so you don't know how to inherently ride a horse. Were you there? Why you asking if he was there? Like, were you there? First of all, were you there? No. No. Then why are you asking other people if they were there, bro? Why are you judging their fucking theory or whatever the fuck? Just let them be, bro. Just, I'm not questioning his racist mind. I'm fucking the other person's questioning me. I'm saying maybe my ancestors were able to run fast. Maybe they were able to jump around like little ninja. Who fucking knows? <clears throat> I wasn't there. That's my point. <laughs> Bam! There we go. I need to agree with you, motherfucker. That was my whole point. I wasn't there. What? Neither was that motherfucker. You're getting your feelings out quick, bro. Just like I said, relax. What? Dude, I have no feelings right now. <laughs> relax, I say. It, like you say, it's chilling. We're not chilling. Freak. I'm in my camp. Dude, I'm over here cooking all these meats. Big meats? What? what feelings? I literally have no feelings right now. <laughs> I have opinions and knowledge. That's about it. Knowledge. Every minute of the episode. Whoever just said no knowledge. Meh. I have more knowledge than that person times a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Try me. Right. You, you have, I know what it is, you have a lot of stuff you want, you need to prove yourself, huh? You need to prove yourself to people. I don't I have everything. No, I don't need to prove you myself. Do. That's just it. I need I to want, if, you didn't need, if, if you didn't need to prove yourself to people, you wouldn't do it. Oh, try me. Or this. Oh, I know this. Or I've done this. I've done this. Can you do that? I got you, these you do this? That's you trying to prove yourself to people, bro. Exactly what that is. No, it's try. It's you're me in, trying. You're to insecure in your faulty upbringing, your faulty teaching from your racist ass parents. You're insecure in that, so you need somebody else to help Whoa, whoa, whoa! Them. I only had one racist parent. You can't say parents. That's plural. Obviously enough, your un your non-racist parent didn't do a whole lot to help you. Well, he came about. Wait, I thought you said your dad was the racist. What the fuck? Yeah, that's true. Wait, I so who? So your mom was a non-racist one, right? Yeah. Then why the hell did you say he came about? What? That makes sense. Because I helped him come about. Oh, you should hear you. He used to disagree with me all the time, to the point of where he told me he was gonna. Nobody's around. I was like 19, 20 at this point. He's like. I can beat the fuck out of you right now if I wanted to. And I'm like, you know what? Do it. I'll call the cops. You better hope you kill me. And you know what? He didn't do shit. So, and you, you know threatened what? to call the cops on your parents Hold for beating you. So I threatened my... No, I threatened my father <laughs> that he couldn't do shit to me because I'm an adult. He keep fucking just pushing me around like when I was a kid. And guess what? That same fucking no. shit that Nate, hold on, the same fucking thing that he fucking told me he was gonna beat the shit out of me for. He will agree with me now that I was right. Hey, let's let's play a game of theory here. If you had to okay, say that shit to your dad, he hauled off and fucking knocked your fucking chin off your face, which he could have. <laughs> I mean, like, if he had to turn around and just beat the absolute fucking white skin off of you. Well, I could Down to the fucking pink wow. shit. And what would, what, would, what would have been then? Would you, would you still agree with you now? If he had to haul it off and just beat the fucking daylights out of you? You think he'd still well, agree with you? Kill me or not kill me? I'm just saying, if he beat you down to where you're just a bloody stain on the floor. I mean, my dad did it. My, I sent some dumb shit to my dad. He laid me the fuck out. He'd be in jail. 
I don't in jail care who he is. He'd be in jail for maybe a year or two, and then he'd get out. Forever. No. Oh. <laughs> Child abuse I... doesn't result in life jail sentences. Sorry. I don't think not jail works. I don't think you do either, bro. I've been I'll talk about him. No, I do. I got a lot of time. First time offense for Wait, child what? abuse? I've, I've seen people go through this. Fine and maybe a couple of mandatory interviews with CPS. <laughs> yeah, you do, you do more, more for missing maybe, house support. No, maybe yeah, a month you're forgetting that this was going into the adult age, and this is where it would okay. become, like, so, actual crimes that were higher still than that. It's always been fun. actual crime. Okay, so if you're over, if you're over the age of eighteen, it's what assault and battery. Yep. Um, maybe attempted murder if you kept going long enough. Okay. If he hit you above the waist with any with any kind of weapon, it's attempted murder. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's maybe a year in jail. <laughs> Where the fuck do you live, man? I almost got Where a year in jail for. I almost got a year in jail just for fucking not touching anybody, not hitting anyone, just refusing to fucking <laughs> listen to a bartender one time, and they fucking started grabbing on my trigun shirt, and I'm like, dude, I'm good, I'm good, I'll leave, I'll fucking leave. He was fucking on my trigun shirt. I love trigun, you're fucking my trigun shirt up. I'll just leave, don't stretch it out. He's like, dude, dude, don't do your coke so you, shit. You were arrested for, I'm assuming, disorderly conduct. No, I wasn't arrested. Um, if, you, if you were facing jail time, it means you were arrested. I wasn't, so fuck off. So you I believe the bluff. You believe the bluff. You know everything. Oh, you uh, the you're so smart. No, that's no, not look, exactly. I'm just that's calling you the same shit you just said. You're like, God, oh, I was oh. a year in jail for telling a bartender. I didn't want to, I was yeah. confusing and a bartender. My dad didn't even rape me. Uh, if the cop you know, told you that you were going to do a year in no, jail, that's I'm not called, basic I idiot. The bullshit line right there. You're like, oh yeah, I only served a year in jail for refusing to leave from a bartender. But when I was so you arrested, didn't. I wasn't arrested. You were yeah, you the you cop told you you were never arrested. So the cop told you you were going to do a year and you believed him, right? No, I wasn't arrested. And then well, there was a so how did you police report filed. And I... There's a police report. In order to face jail, never, you never. Like I said, do not, he, he believes, hold on, hold on, he believes hold on, hold on. the bluff. You're so smart. You're so smart. Do you not realize that, like, you can just, like, have a situation happen and you can go home, go to sleep, wake up the next morning, a few days can go by, and a cop knocks on your door and goes, Hey, did this happen? Like, okay, that, that doesn't mean you're facing jail time for that. Cops don't set oh. sentences. That's not part of their job. Yeah, sorry, bro. Like, in order for you to get the well, sentence I fucking like that, was, so I don't know what you're talking about. I was facing, like, almost a... Oh, they bluffed you. Cops do that. They bluff you. Cops... A cop will tell you that you're gonna get a year in jail just to bluff you. Yeah, Somebody sit you down in a big room... And the bluff. And he was like, okay, so... It's part of the scare tactics. Yes, but that was a different time. That was a different time. At the same time, you were bullshitting about the year in jail. When they bluffed it. What we're trying to tell you right now, just shut up. Keep the racist bullshit in your head for now. So, in order for you to have faced a year in jail, right, you were a either been arrested or or detained at some point, been taken to a jail, a jail fucking police station, something, arraignment, or fucking detained for a little while, kept there. You would have had a trial. A judge would have had to tell you, hey, you said you're going to accept it. Sure, the line, I did that. Okay, yeah, I did. Well, here's, the here's the consequences of that. You know, a year ago, blah, 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 maybe a fine, or whatever else the fuck you were going to say. Did any of that happen? Yeah. What happened? Because it all kind of has to happen together for it to happen. You don't go, you don't go to, you don't have a court case over some dumb shit like that. Now, sorry. Well, well you didn't get arrested with one. You don't get a, a cop will fucking escort you out of a bar and oh, you're going to jail for a year for this shit, bro. Sorry, that just doesn't happen. If, if it does happen and you believe him, you're an idiot. Well, the one thing I do is say is if, if you try to resist, a cop will tell you. They'll bluff you. They'll tell you, like, hey, oh, if you yeah, don't chill out, resist, you're going to be gone. Resisting arrest is an actual, like, problem. Like, they, that's a legitimate crime they'll get you for. 
I know, but I know cops that'll bluff you. They'll tell you you're gonna get time that's not even real. You know what I mean? I think they bluffed him, and he bluffed him. This dude, whoever fucking just said that, is 100% right. You're quite a lawyer, actually. It's common sense, dude. They do it for compliance. No, if a motherfucker knows you're gonna get a year and a half. Exactly. I'm thinking that he bought the bluff. The cop told him, hey, you're gonna get a year, and he bought that. Now he's telling us that he was facing a year. No, no, no. He took, he took a punch, and they were playing the tape at the bar. So, no, I was at a bar. I'm so confused. I was at a bar. Uh, only people. Oh, it was a super bad reference. I'm not fucking bar. And there was a robbery that happened. Okay. Then the same fucking dude, and the cops came to me, and they fucking were looking for a safe and all this weird shit, trying to come into my home and everything without a warrant and everything. What? Which, guess what? We don't live in America. <laughs> just stop cop. talking, bro. You just stop talking. Bro. What? I can, you, I can tell you're making this story up as you go, dude. I'm fucking not. What the fuck are you talking about? Anybody else, anybody else hear the bullshit in this story? Please, please. Uh, I've been trying to call for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. I've been trying to stop him. <laughs> this guy is like... He changed his just keep digging. He just keeps digging. That's all it is. It's a story that you just keep the story I was telling you. Okay, what? I don't give a fuck about the lead up. Just tell me how it, just tell me if you got arrested or not for the fuck. Oh, the lead up is worse. Bro, can we just get a weekly segment of this guy just telling stories? <laughs> no. Yo, dude, we need to get him on Joe Rogan and just listen to these two talk. Oh my god, that'd be a hilarious interview. Because Joe Rogan would rip your shit apart for no reason. Wouldn't. He's a nice dude. He would listen to my fucking story. He would listen to your story and then he would just do nothing but make fun of you. No, he wouldn't. Because it's all true. He would blow up. It's 100% true. Oh. I, fucking, I was at a bar. The fucking bar okay, we'll call it. That night. And I was with the last we'll people there with a friend that actually worked at the fucking bar. And then so, the fucking cops started coming to me like. You just led him to like murder. And that's what we're trying to look at my shoes. We're like, ugh. The cop we had no warrant or nothing. Oh, there's, there's a case. Home. There's a case. I'm not fucking done. He comes into my fucking home. He's like, ugh. And look at your shoes. And I'm like, oh, yeah, hold on. So you let him. In, so you let him in your house. Well, he kind of walked in, man. Okay. So what you do right there? Call the precinct. He walks in and have his ass arrested. Don't believe me. This dude did a bunch of fucked up shit. And then, and so I'm gonna say, hold on. So at that same fucking bar later, like, way later, and some fucked up shit happens, and the bartender wants to fucking throw me out, and he's like, fuck you, you come through shit. And then I start being a dumb drunk, and every time oh. he tries to touch me, I block his oh, see, hand. That right there. And then, you, what? I'm not gonna you let somebody being, touch you. You were being a dumb drunk, which means yeah, you were doing so dumb that, shit. Then that dude threw me out on the fucking concrete, threw me into the fucking. Cause he's gonna fuck my trigun shirt up. Like I said. Screw that. Trigun shit. I don't. I don't give a shit about the shirt. I give a shit about the anime. That's it. Dude, that's just at the time when the dude's gonna beat the shit out of me, and I should've just given the fuck up, but I thought of Vegeta, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, I can't give up. You need to it's go back to whatever fucking, you need to go hit whatever pipe you can hit in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Anyway, so anyway, when I got in trouble for, I got away from stupid fucking bartender. Yeah, they tried to get me for the robbery. They tried not for the fucking do this shit. Are oh, you a sovereign citizen? You you classify yourself as a sovereign citizen. Do you? Just answer what do you or not? We are a sovereignty. <laughs>
Explain yourself. What's a sovereign citizen do? Sovereign citizen is somebody that lives here, but doesn't, yes, sir. doesn't recognize any of the rules or authority anyone in their country. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's okay. not a real thing. It's not a real thing. I mean, it is a thing, but it's like not a legal thing. That's not the definition at all. Kind of like, kind of like an anarch. That's not the definition of sovereign citizen at all. You, 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 you're that's saying what, you're, that's what you're, the modern you're, sovereign citizens are trying to do. You're, you're talking about you're, you're pretty much talking about an anarchist. <laughs> yeah, but have you Anarch seen on YouTube the sovereign citizens? Have you seen those guys? Yes, yes, yes. What? That's what he's talking about. He's talking about those, I think. Okay. Yeah, like you're referring to that. That's what he classifies himself as. Do you? Does he really classify himself as? Okay. You a sovereign citizen? I just to see if he said yes. If he said yes, I was just going to move the game. I am not the number on my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a step in the bank. <laughs> it's stone, man. Yeah, let's get stone. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Tell you something that uh, is very interesting. I'm a rare American. I don't even know what my fucking social security card number is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> wow. I've Damn, bro. I've never memorized it ever, ever. I don't want to know what it is. We had to back in. I believe in too much freedom, man. Back when I graduated, despite, despite I, some of the dumb people in this country, I went to war it's for. It's only what three, <laughs> two, and three. Can you guys memorize? I could easily yeah. remember three, two, and three. We had to, we had to memorize, we had to memorize that shit in school. Dude, I could be tortured. Hey, hold on, let me grab this notepad real quick. Hey, if you know your social security number, tell it real quick. I'll take anybody knows your social security number. I'll take anybody knows your social security number. Yeah, let me. The of me is by torturing me enough that my subconscious can remember seeing that. Anybody can get it. That is not hard. Cause I don't even know what it is. <laughs> That's kind of cool in some ways. You think you don't know? We'll bring those memories back. I'm to the point now in my adult life when people ask me, like, they're like, well, "Why don't you know?" I'm like, "I don't want to. I don't. I don't have a." Problem. I don't know. That, 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 that's the cool part about it. No, when your doctor, when you say that to your actual doctor. <laughs> he don't, don't like, like it. You're fucking weird as fuck. Like, <laughs> I, don't product. I don't know a product number. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> they look at you like. Uh, that's that, that's pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. You know, really. I mean. The sanest way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. People look at you like you're crazy when you say something like that, but it's reality. I don't. Have I do know, man. Though I, I I had to remember yeah. that shit. I, I'm just trying to fucking give you guys a little more fucking insight into the kind of fucking person that I am. Just saying. Hey, I'm down with that. Be you. You do. You do you, bro. Try, try, try asking about any ancient fucking history. That's kind of shit I'm into. <laughs> All right, what did Jesus say? Not true. Jesus said that. I got one for you. Jesus said that you sell. Jesus said that. Give up your clothing, give up everything you have, sword. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Are you there? Can you prove that he said that? No. Can you prove that he existed? That's where faith comes in, bro. I don't know if faith. Ah, it's, you know, you got, was you got at have... least a person named Jesus in a census one time. But that's about it. <laughs> you can't prove it, dude. We don't know if it was the Jesus. I'm just saying that there was a Jesus. <laughs> you can't prove that he did not exist. There was like 18,000 not Jesuses. Why am I wrong? The name Jesus, 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 Jesus didn't even oh. exist in that time period. So <laughs> I killed him. Nobody named Jesus. How the fuck can you prove that? Yes. Jesse will work. I can prove it because the name didn't exist yet. Did you, was you back in? 
I tell you what, you can't put you can't put your faith you can't put your faith into any history, man. Really, that we have. I mean, truthfully, it's all just a big fucking guess. Really, yeah, right. It's like it's like science. Science is fa science fiction. I mean, really, and truthfully, it's fiction. It's all of it. It's a big guess. He's a dumbass. I, mean, I agree. <laughs> Oh, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> Jesus is name Don't actually, pick the wrong like side. That's all. I'm just thinking Yashua. <laughs> or... Are, we having a, are we having a religious session here or what? Uh, are we playing, you know, what's it's up? Just, it's it's kind of just going all over the place. We're kind of just, 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 just finding the limits of how far this guy actually knows. Yeah, dude, I love that. My fucking knowledge, I'm telling you, I know a lot of shit. It also says, uh, with it so far, but he doesn't think that. He, he, he who denies my name, it says, it, it also says, if you have any faith, any belief, it says he. Are you there? He who denies my name, I shall deny your name. You know what's even worse? What's worse than Listen to me, Mr. Like, Keller. When it comes to Jesus, you gotta remember Thomas the Doubter. Alright? You're allowed to question it. You're allowed to question religion according to Christianity. Look it up. What the fuck? Yes. Yeah, but even yeah, but if you look in your Bible, there's there was a one Jesus Thomas, though that right? that look at the Roman, wasn't there a disciple called the Roman, Thomas? Hey, 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 hey. Wasn't there a disciple called Thomas? Redemption server. Right. The wasn't reason Thomas Jesus is remembered the way he Jesus Why they call raised Thomas he, he made the dead rise, man. He he performed miracles. He done these things. Yeah. That's why. That's why he's yeah, remembered the way he is. But that's why he is remembered. Dude, I believe he did. I, I I believe he did. I really believe he did. Yeah. I, I believe so. I believe so. There are four books of the Bible. Only three of them, basically. Kind of. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is Thomas doubted him. You're allowed to. And Jesus said. Jesus said, touch. Oh, hold on, this is what I'm gonna get like a fucking straight up fucking egotistical dick right now. You're I'm allowed to. I know more about Christianity than any Christian I've ever fucking talked to. Man, you I can't say it. I know you know much more than me though, bro. My, fa my, my father was a preacher, yes. bro. I grew so up I in. I know more than your priest fucking dad, or I know more than any priest fucking dad. Well, you tell me about you tell me about it, bro. Tell me about it. Tell me how to save my soul then, bud. What's the plan of Preacher, salvation? Bro. Tell me the plan of salvation. <laughs> I said, I said the plan, the plan, the plan, the plan of salvation. What is the plan of salvation? How do I save my soul? Step one. You know? Drop to your knees. <laughs> Repent, confess, and be baptized for the remission of sins. That's the plan of salvation. What be the point of somebody not a Christian? I mean, typical. Here's my question. Typical Christians are, uh, you know, that, that, you're putting them in a box like a like a Catholic priest. It likes to touch little boys, you know. That's that's not a Christian. I have to mute myself, so I question if I can even be heard. <laughs> I was straight up. Like I will straight up fight a motherfucker over, over Christ. I will any day, any day for Christ. I will stand up. I will stand up. I will stand up and fight the biggest motherfucker over Jesus any day, any day. I, that's who I am. I will do. It. I will not. I will. I'll fist fight him. Christian than you. I'll fist fight Jesus for him to show me that he's real. <laughs> you just I, that's, <laughs> Hey, he will he will I beat your God, ass. He will beat hey, you down from I'll the believe. inside out. And then I believe. Look, and then I believe. I'll drop down on my knees. I'll be like, oh Lord. Lord. I, hey, I tell you Do you believe do you believe in Satan? Huh? No. That that motherfucker is here, boys and girls. <laughs> he might he may, you may be you you may you may be talking to him. You may be talking to him right now. If you may be. <laughs> you may be talking to him right now, brother. Do you believe in Sega Genesis? Sega Genesis. I would be like, yeah, maybe that's possible. 
here. You like a Anna, you probably you probably believe in the Anunnaki too, right? Nope. Fuck the Anunnaki. Not an Anunnaki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just walked into the wrong fucking park right there. Anunnaki on my big cocky. All about it. The ancient Sumerian gods. Yeah. And Me too. Uh, I, I studied it. Oh yeah, in real. Dude, it sounds like you know. It sounds like you know everything, bro. You know it all. You know. I love. I, I, I love people that that love that know everything. I love motherfuckers like that. I know it. I know it. I know it. Yeah. How many you know how big Potter my dog is? Look, niggas know the Harry Potter books, six of them, front and back. Right. I got a whole app for it. I don't doubt that anybody here does not know one book from the book. Because somebody knows Harry Potter, they somehow know No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, listen to me. What I'm saying is, I... One at a time, one at a time. Every Harry Potter book, front and back. So I don't doubt. And want to destroy the planet. And he's the one that wanted to create and help them. But actually, the, the devil is the one that wants your soul. Right I'm not fucking read it, but the entire story of the blood story of the uh, Samaritan. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can literally tell you the ancient Samaritan blood story. I can literally tell you it. Go ahead, man. Tell me a story. Yeah, man. I just tried to fucking do it, but you're a fucking asshole. It was a regional flood. You guys need Jesus in your life. Hold on, hold on. We all kind of figured out. Man, Jesus in my life, I done told you that I'm a knock it off. Oh shit, this is a mess with me. Hold up. I'm about to tear him down. Hold up. Who's the super southern fucking preacher son? Oh, the fuck? Oh, he's a super southern preacher son. He's a super southern preacher son. He sounds southern as shit. He's really understandable. Albert Pike? I don't know. Look into him. What kind of drugs are you guys on? Huh? Good ones? Hold on. So, I want the preacher son. So, what what? You just shot my horse, you stupid fuck. Who said what? Dude, I shot my horse, man. What a fucking asshole. You motherfuckers are weird. I I have a Australian and everything's fine, and then it turns into like. Hey, mate. You fucking, you bunch of wankers. You you fucking wankers. Bloody bastards. <laughs> Heaven's up in the clouds. clouds. Where is hell? It's not up in the clouds, bro. There is no hell. It's, it's inside the earth. It is inside the earth, bro. Prove it. No, because no, they made it. I can't. I, I can't. I cannot prove that. Yeah. I can't. Lower when we science. die, when we die, we'll know, bro. No, no, look, I'm just, uh, look, look, listen. How, listen, how do you? I'm you can't spit real fast. Once you dead. Listen, listen. I'm about to spit real fast. Earth is Earth is Satan is the king of the earth, boys and girls. He is. He is. He is. He is. He is. He the first thing that I fucking heard that I honestly can agree with is that Earth if, yep. if hell Earth is, is a real thing, we're and, and, and the, the devil Earth is a real it. thing. Yes, it was. Satan, Satan is a real thing, and he does exist, and he does rule the Earth, and it's bad. Did you send me a friend request? Could you agree with me? That's more like a Gnostic idea. The Gnostics believe that there's two gods. You know, I mean. Ah, uh, that's some that's some twisted up shit. I've I've heard that that yeah. I've heard. Once you 
I wasn't specifically pointing anybody out, but it would. Hey, you're the you're the dude that you're the dude that like you you're the guy that knows it all, right? You're the one that said I know everything, right? Look out! I know it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> You're right. I know this. I know. T N O T I S N. Dirt. A silent G. Who's a G, dog? I'm an OG, original Lee. Gangsterish. Hey, you know what that is? Yeah, yeah. He's, Hey, motherfucker, you don't know shit about me, dog. I'm the brillest OG there is. In this motherfucking little chat click. I'm all about Jesus. If it was Jesus, I'd be dead, bro. He's 50 Fuck 50 cents. Fuck 50. Jesus. <laughs> boys and girls. Uh, y'all. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna end it on this note. I'm gone. Repent, con con repent, confess, and be baptized for the remission of sins. That's your plan of salvation, there, brother. Since you know I'm, 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 I'm out. This motherfucker, that you are a fucking man. I don't want to mark Christianity than anybody you ever talked to. You're all right, man. See you. Come on, show me what you got. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. Never, never you you read the Bible? How many? You said you read the Bible a shit ton of times. Right? It hasn't yeah. done you no good though, right? Uh, At all. Uh -oh. you're yeah. a dumbass. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If, if you've read the Bible so many times, what's the shortest passage in the Bible? Uh -huh, that's a good one. Go ahead. Yeah, tell us, bud. You know it all, right? What's the shortest passage in the Bible? Well, when you first open the Bible, the shortest passage Jesus is wept. the beginning. God Jesus wept. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you, if you said anything other than Jesus wept, you're fucking retarded. Exactly. I, I'm, I'm down with you. I was waiting for him to say anything else with that. <laughs> exactly. He don't know shit, bro. I didn't say that. He don't know shit. That's like asking for the economy now. I was going to say the Gospel of Mark. The Gospel of Mark is short as all the other Gospels. The shortest no, phrase like in the Bible. The shortest passage in the Bible is just Jesus Je wept. Jesus wept, yes. You are right, my friend. What do you have a clue? Mr. Gnostic, Gnosticism. <laughs> He's not cool. Alright, guys. Y'all have a good one. I'm out. Oh, no. PewDiePie. Nope, nope. Repent your sins, PewDiePie. He said the he said the shortest <laughs> phrase, the shortest passage, <laughs> dumbass. Yeah, yeah, it's too hard. Yeah, you couldn't pull it off. It's okay. You, you fucking know it all. <laughs> exactly. I tried to and you failed. You are yes, no, you failed. No, you, you failed, failed bitch. You, you know why? Because you're not you're not an OG. You're a, you're not an OG. You don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, easily. If you if you do anything if you do anything about the Bible, dude, you know that. Which means that he just proved it, but you don't know shit. So don't say you shit about religion. Bible, but you didn't cop you didn't absorb any of it, you didn't comprehend any of it. Exactly. You don't know shit talking so, much. You didn't comprehend any of it. <laughs> no, you didn't. I hate people that make arguments over shit they know nothing about, dude. They know it all, but they know nothing. They know shit. Again, he was raised by racists and people that weren't that clearly weren't that educated. I'm a Christian and I do cuss. It's just that's it's life, though, little brother. We're all sinners, you know. We are. We are. We are you know? the sinners. Show me some love, boys. I like them, Good talking to you guys. So, Talk to y'all later. He sounds like a Southern Baptist preacher. Whoever, whoever talked about the Jesus, who, hey, hey, hey whoever Bible. come up with, whoever was talking about the shortest phrase in the Bible, the Jesus wept deal, send me a friend request, bro, because I'm down with you. Hey, sir, I'm down with you. Did you miss the whole thing about Thomas the Doubter? Come on, man.
You're allowed to question it. That was my whole deal. Okay, tell me, tell me something about Job there, Mr. Know-it-all. How about in the beginning? It's, it's the shortest phrase, you stupid... Yes, it's a verse, man. It's a verse. The shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. Pop culture, man. Pop culture tells you that. He wept when he saw that Lazarus was dead, man. He, when the family, when he saw the family in pain, he saw them in pain because when he re when he made the dead rise, which who was Lazarus, you know, that's where the phrase come from. Judas, what? A kiss? Judas, yeah. Yes. Jesus knew. Yeah. He knew that he was going to be betrayed from the beginning, man. It's crazy. Yeah, Jesus told you. I know one of you is going to betray me. You said that it's a kiss, remember? But it depends on Shut up, dude. I mean, shut up. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I like getting people riled up, man. Especially people that know it all, like you. You know it all, bro. I love motherfuckers like you. Exactly. Yeah, you ain't saying too much now, right, bro? <laughs> That's it, dude. He's an atheist piece of shit. I mean, I'm an atheist, sure. Okay. I'm atheist and atheist. Yeah, but you don't, you don't, you're not claiming to know it all, though, right? No, I mean, like, if there's a God, move it. Yes, he is. He's like, he's like the old person in the church who claims they're no God. Hold on, shut the fuck up, hold on, everybody. You shut up. If you're an atheist or you're a Christian, you're claiming to know everything. I'm an agnostic. No, 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 no. Well, dude, you're 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 lukewarm, then. It says in the Bible that I will I will spew you out of my mouth. I will spew you out of my mouth. Yes. Man, not not necessarily, dude. You're you're straight up. No. Not if you have wisdom. You're a judgmental fuck. You know shit, dude. You, you need to do some soul searching seeds. just like me, brother, and just like everybody else in this world. You must be fruitful. You f be fruitful, <laughs> my friends. A thousand years older than me. Yeah, you're 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 the devil himself, right? The fucking bright morning star. That was older than a thousand morning. years. Because if you was, uh, the bright and morning star is what it called Jesus in the Bible. The bright and morning star. God called God called Satan. God called Satan. Are you listening to me? God called Satan. The bright and morning star. The bright and morning star. That's what G yes, that's what Satan was called by God. He was God's favorite. Look, man, look, I done told y'all. I know people that have memorized six goddamn Harry Potter books. I don't doubt that any one person here has not memorized everything in one book. Okay? Who fucking reads Harry Potter? The only reason that I think that fucking like all I'm saying. Doesn't the title of this fucking party chat say chilling? No one is chilling in this fucking party. They're yelling. I'm know, chilling right? like a villain. Yeah, for real. Yeah, well, you, this, the up. fucking party chat says chilling, and you're fucking yelling. So hey. you wanna shut the fuck up? Hey, we're yeah. having a debate. We're having a we're having a we're, we're having an adult yes adult debate, brother. Listen, kid, you need so, to turn your ear. The only one, the only one screaming is your little ass. Yeah, nobody's yelling, over, bro. I'm about to put you over my knee and be beat you little ass. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> gay faggot, Texas <laughs> oh, fucking bitch. You're Go right, you're right, you're green truck. Who? Who? Green fucking truck. Oh, yeah. You scumbag. <laughs>
<laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> great tractor. Oh, I'm right. Oh, my great, great tractor. Great yeah, tractor. Yeah. Right on right. my well, great tractor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been nice talking shit to y'all, but I'm out. I'm, this Texan is out, so later. Y'all have a good one. Niggas are life. You little bastard, shut up. <laughs> Thank God. Y'all have a good one, man. Hey, I, I, I had fun. I had fun messing with y'all. See y'all. Yeah, man, you were cool. Because he got the last word, bro. You didn't hear him. Come on, bro. You don't. You don't know how this thing goes. You don't know how the internet works. Did everybody leave? Yeah, you still sound like an idiot. Damn, that's the next level of Christianity there. God was very close to you. You know? You sure he was reading the actual Bible, not like his like, fucking KKK Bible? They have like, There's a KKK Bible? Yeah, there actually is. Yeah, they have like the, they have their own version of the Bible, yes. I don't know that that's actually true. Well, it's, not, it's not even like a like, public version, like, it's not like a... No, the three pieces. Yeah, those guys are fucking creepy. Yeah. Thank you. At least you. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm saying I don't what? like. I'm not part of them or anything, but like, I know some people that are. They have. Like, you know, oh, I don't even want to know people that are really. And anybody that you know that are, they don't know shit. You can learn way more. By talking to you, apparently, shit. Yeah, I can pretty much tell you everything about it. I could even tell you like. Okay, do you guys know? Hold on, do you guys know who Alex Jones is? Do you? Yes. Have you met him? No. Have you ever talked to him? So you don't? Yeah. But you know who he is. I mean, cool, anybody can Google search him up and know who he is.
Turn your bullshit off, kid. Jesus Christ. Kick the kid. Ready, right kick. Which one's that? It's PewDiePie. I remember this one. Wrong party, you Okay, there you go. Alright, we'll never oh, ever come. He <laughs> kicked the other one that was down? Well, I crumble might have left on his own. Did somebody kill me? Which one, was, which one was like, which one was the fallen angel? Did somebody just fucking The Satan? I remember what I was going to talk about. Which one was the fallen angel? Michael was the fallen one, right? Who the hell is Michael? The Archangel Michael? Oh, you never heard of him? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Okay. Not real. Listen. So, God's not real. Shit. Like, come on now. Oh, come on. Come on. You can't prove that. You sound like a religious. You can't prove our, You can't prove Michael wasn't real. What are the chances of me bumping into a Christian? Is this like a TV show or something? Um, Supernatural, okay, at least you knew that. Oh, the movie Lucifer, yeah, I saw it on Netflix. Lucifer also brought some of his armies with him as well. Can't believe any of them effectively. 
I just read off the Read off what? You read off some shit you saw on Google? That's what it sounded like. You just read off some Wikipedia shit. Which I gotta give you. Just read off the cover. He read the little fucking thing on the back. Just like if I grab a book. Okay, hold on. Okay. Here we go. Morals and Dogma. A book that I got off fucking goddamn Amazon. I think this book was written, printed in you I think, you 1800s. Oh, it was not the Flash. I get it in my hand. Private book of an ancient accepted Scottish rite Freemasonry received by Lord William H. Johnston. Address: Party Cross Saint. Date: January. This is a Christianity party. 1946. This was given to the Freemason who wrote this book. So let me open to a random part where I've highlighted something. Here we go. Okay. You're just in you. Yeah, they try. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just being. Everyone was. No, it's not. It's I'm just being. Freemason aren't necessarily religious. Yeah, I know, but that's that, that was the whole top point top I was trying to get you. Is it there is no fucking Satan, there is no Lucifer in the whole idea of the elites and the fucking priesthoods. There's only the idea of Lucifer. Lucifer. You're telling me. Shut up. Let me stop. Let me finish. Lucifer in the idea of these people is the life of the eye of man. And Lucifer is Just do the right thing. From Australia? Me? No, I don't believe in Australia. Your shit runs back down. No, I just thought I heard an Australian accent. My bad. <laughs> just like the way you say it, I love Australians. <laughs> They're delicious. Yeah, we're Australians. Where's the beers at? Word now. Oh, 
Oh, my mom did too. I'd have to like duck under furniture to wake her up, cause if not, I'd get, I'd catch him. <laughs> my dad went to prison too many times, so he'd wake up and take him to See, that's how I am. Oh, this mission is so hard. I woke up to any like precarious situations like that when I was in jail, so can't say anything. You went to jail? I went to jail too. High five. What is it like a sentence prison or a temporary prison? No, it's a maximum security prison. Oh, you've uh, incarceration centers in Connecticut. Oh, you've been to maximum. Yeah. I've been to the one before. You went to maximum just for weed? It's, it's pretty. Yes, because like I said, there's only one female incarceration center in Connecticut. They would have had to send me out of state to put me into a jail. Damn. Who? We're still talking to you? This is the wrong person. Are you trying to say that this person you talked to tried to... What? He tried to, yes he tried to. No, Dan, okay, I first met Dan on a chat site. Uh, he was a troll. Everybody hated him. Uh -huh. That's what I meant. Well, see, I didn't. I don't, I, I don't care, like, I, I've dealt with people right. that like to be trolls my whole life, like, I don't care, like, it, just, it never really bothered me, but then Dan got upset with me, and crossed the line that he has never crossed with other people, or with me, and he still expects me to talk to him after that. How long did we stop talking for? Oh, fucking Jesus. That's a long time. Some people make gamer friends, man. I got some people I've been talking to for 10 plus years ago. <laughs> yeah, my son, was, my son was, I think, six months when I first started getting on chat. You stole my backpack? That's my backpack. What's in the backpack? Thank you. 
Joker's fine. Exactly right. Like I mean, David X like shape shifting their tune from a fucking another dimension. <laughs> but then like and then like it's, it's in a and you are like listening to the Alex Jones show and you're like sweet and it's Alex Jones like I'm not a real dull guy, I don't get into that. But then, but then when David X says shape shifting reptilians were another dimension, and Alex Jones goes, Yeah, yeah, sometimes you know, uh here and there we call uh demon, sir, yeah. What do you say about possessions then? Personally, I'm a god. I don't believe in one overall, like, overbearing god. I don't believe in necessarily multiple gods. I don't necessarily believe in the devil or hell or any of that. I believe that there's something else out there. I don't know what it is, but something. Me too. You can prove it. No, I don't I care to prove it. See the it's signs. a feeling that I have. It's, it's, a, it's a, a feeling that I have in my gut that there is something else that exists out there. Yes, so we all feel it. Jesus, Lord, Jesus, the dude. I'm like, I'll be like, oh, okay. And then somebody comes and like, Jesus never existed. You're, you're there. I'll be like, okay. Like, I mean, both of those things are ridiculous. Or, or, or somebody says, God exists! I'm like, what God? And they explain to me, like, okay. He's like, God does exist! I'm like, explain that? How do you know? It's almost like this. It's, it, like, 
saying that God is good and God doesn't just mean no. It's almost the most egotistical thing that anyone can ever say, ever. Like, There's what, a, what, um, an artist that what I listen to. Uh, ah! Seriously, I'm it's stuck. It's more egotistical than that. Saying that you know. I agree. And I, there's this artist that I listen to, and he did a song about religion and about how a lot of people are going to uh, shun him for turning his back on his religion so quickly when he tried, but, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, this is true and this is true, but all he's got is this man-made book to prove it. <laughs> yes, baby girl, you can get out, you can go back to the playroom, go! Stop yelling at me. Like, you're fucking down. I'll be like, I can I have books. I have highlighted them. I can even send pictures of the pages of highlights. I have actually went through the Well because that's books, that's like what I was saying before about like, people being so up. stuck on their opinions and their beliefs that they're mm, willing to forego any truths, any proofs that you throw in front of them and just I completely can't. ignore that and stay stuck on their belief. I can literally take the books that these people are saying that I'm googling and finding answers. I can literally take them off a fucking bookshelf, and open them, and show them the highlighted verses, the, the highlighted shit that I have highlighted. Like I can send them the picture. Like it's real. I've read these fucking books. Like, and they all think I'm some kind oh, of fucking. Oh, this fucking nerd actually left. What the hell's going on? Why did he leave? Yeah, right? I'm just some random person that joined because I was gonna talk to Dan, but then he left like a dick bag. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Raiden. Hey, Raiden. Yeah. I don't think Raiden is talking shit. Talking shit? What's there to talk shit about? I just believe in doing the right thing. <laughs> I think Raiden was just listening to shit when I was like, I don't remember you saying anything bad about your name. It's nothing bad, you know? I would say killing people is bad, but just to find. Do you want me to send you actual pictures? Do you get a bunch of books out? Books you can get. You probably can get your hands on it. Like you the money to do it. So, so who's the Christian here again? That they say they're Christian. Your books that you're talking about are New York bestsellers. I don't know why you have this superiority complex, bro. Like, first you're racist, then you have every book under this stupid, under the fucking sun. Let's not go back to what you were talking about earlier. I'm not racist, I hate everyone equally. What's up, man? Ah, People suck. That's the bottom line. I think he's racist and he was talking about. Oh no, Bat left. He's probably one of the nicest guy. Neanderthal, or the Nova, 
And you're not, you're not Homo sapien sapien. What you were taught about when I was a kid, uh, going to high school, what was the book? In biology class. <laughs> Evolution. Everything Stop has scared. changed. But when you watch a show, the kids are being taught this. We're all different. We really are different. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You can't go get a person I mean, from Australia and stick them around the top to try and expect them to do I mean, if you're not getting into science, in scientific terms, then the baseline is we are all human. But you're right. Oh. We, oh. No, but what is human? We are! We're still human! Actually, I don't even know what that means anymore. Mm. Into the science and like look into what it is. I don't even know what being human is. I don't know. Like, like, seriously, like, look into all the time, like, it's insane, it, I'm telling you, it's fucked up, but like... But then again, you, you're you're basing all of this knowledge off of humans, and human, no. a, 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 a theories, and, and, uh, conclusions, like, these are all human-based regardless, I mean, they've all come from a mind of somebody else's. Well, so, actually, just because one person's saying that we're not homo sapiens sapiens anymore doesn't mean that that's actually true. Okay. That's just what they're telling you. us, what they're feeding us. Hold on. I agree with you, <clears throat> and I still might agree with you if you want to get into really huge conspiracy shit. But, um, I mean, we, I, the, I, the, I, hold on. <laughs> the reason we know this is because of actual science we've done the scientific like we've done the genome sequences on these DNA sequences. Like we know like you could find out how much percentage of you is this or that or Neanderthal or Genovian at this point. I mean I mean the whole world is kind of literally just a whole ton of different shit mixed together like Finding a pure, <laughs> like, specific race anymore is kind of difficult. So, <laughs> my, I guess my ultimate point here, I guess, that I really am trying to make, is that it seems like people are trying to say, like, they're trying to make race war. People are trying to say that. But it's like, if you really were trying to, why wouldn't you just use real science and create some new sort of race war based on actual science? Like, they don't want people to know this, so there's it's a whole, it's very, it's, I'm sorry, I think in a whole different, it's weird. Because one, I mean, well, I they have more than one way of forcing us to, to, to fight one, uh, amongst one another, so I mean, that, that's not really a big thing, but I mean, on top of that, it would also take willingness and 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 the uh, time and effort on the part of the other parties. Like you have to be, you have to agree to this or secretly do it. To people who go and get checkups, and not everybody does that, so they can't actually test everyone and have that proof out there. Yes, indeed, indeed, that is correct. Well, you had said studying the genomes and everything, and, 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 uh... No, no, the future might be See, I'm going for... See, I'm, I'm on the... Oh, when it really... Oh, okay, so when it really comes down to it, though, I want to those, like... People will tell me, they'll be like, Oh, well, this is what I believe in. Therefore, I, uh, that's what I believe like, really? You're gonna fucking tell me that you think you're smart as fuck? And the only thing, I don't believe in anything. So I believe in myself. Because Descartes said it back in a bajillion years ago. It's a cool quote, it's something better than that. I mean, the only way to really show an actual, like, un like, unobscured and un. I can't take credit for this because my best uh, friend said it. But the better way to say it would be, I think, therefore, something exists. <laughs> like, just because you think doesn't mean that you are the, what you think you are. 
but yeah but i mean yeah. everybody everybody thinks they know everything and and so on and so forth but the only real measure of an intelligence nowadays would be to have an unobscured unobstricted view of everything around you not just what you particularly choose to believe in i mean most days in, most of the time in schools now they're basing kids intelligence off of the, uh, how much they can control the child you know they get bad marks for misbehaving type of thing and that's not a sign of intelligence that's a sign of how well that they can take orders damn that was deep in terms of misbehaving is made up by who knows who so my son, my son has a mild sensory processing issue, you know and he has ADHD. And the, the school would rather put what? him in the hallway when he, yeah, you know, has sense. an outburst and like talks out loud instead of holding up his hand. They'd rather put him outside in the hallway than giving him an individual person to work with him to help him focus on. Yeah. It's very discriminating, you know. That's basically like you know, the kids just come to my school, everyone gets to talk loud. <laughs> Serious. Australians are just fucking loud, man. Yeah. Like basically when we put up a hand, the teachers don't even acknowledge us. The teacher ain't acknowledge the person that talks the loudest. Me, well, I'm a different kind of Australian, if you can put as that. Because I'm actually Asian, born in Australia. But then you you can't just say that to all Australians because we do have a individual type, you know. Yeah, most Australians are laid back, but you know. But if you go to the city type kind of Australian, they're pretty like racist and discriminative. Pretty rude. Talk to Dan for. <laughs> Everyone knows something. clock in your place uh, Mr. Marcus Do you believe in the force? That's even more fucked up thing. Because I, I 
I could be like, I know more about fucking the sports and about all that shit than you do. You'd be like, fuck you. But I have those books. I memorized that shit. Like, I memorized it when I was a kid. Yes. You mean the forest game or the forest of the woods? No, I had the Star Wars dictionary or the encyclopedias. I, I, I fucking memorized the Jedi code. I was like, can you stop holding my carpet? You know, like, I memorized it. I knew the Jedi code, word for word. Like, <laughs> you're gonna pee the monsters? Good job. My dad was two years old and she's peeing the monsters. Is any Red Dead Redemption players not all the Red Dead Redemption player left? I think she fights monsters from watching me play games. She always watches me play Dead by Daylight and Fortnite and Dead by Daylight. It's my favorite game. Hey, I am oh man, that's my crack. What level are you? Are you level 50? Oh, I'm level 50 on all of my survivors. I do not have any of my killers leveled up to 50 because I don't play killer that much. I play it when I have Bailey's. Oh, playing killers piss me off. It's like you get tunnel vision and then they just freaking jump the window, dodge you, duck you, whatever. Especially with their sprint burst. I, I can get to mid rank as killer. As survivor, I get to rank one every season. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I like. Play much as fun, but yeah, I'm pretty second high up there. I hate it. I try to avoid it. Like the plague sucks me. Rank one. Yeah. Try hard to come out and campers. Yeah. yeah. The best, the best perk I use is sprint burst and that that perk where you can see your the, your teammates highlight and stuff. Bond. Yeah. Maybe. I haven't played in ages. Yeah. And for the killers, uh, I like to play as uh, Michael Myers. Self care, self care, yeah. uh, urban evasion, yes. uh, borrow time, and lift. Yeah, borrow time is good. I use Bond because um, if I get hit, I can just hide and just creep up to my teammates and just let them heal me. He is my only P3 character. I enjoy a P1 just because when I first started playing the game, there was no option to change your clothes or buy clothes to you can, get more options. You so can. white shirts were all bright as fuck. So I prestiged him just so he had something somewhat dark. Yeah. Have you ever played where it just lags and you just glitch and you just teleport um, forward? Dude, I try to avoid high paying like the plague. I have had so many instances where we've gotten into a match and I'm literally like jumping halfway across the fucking map yeah. when I'm trying to run in a straight line. Yeah, next time when it happens, try running like in a circle while the killer chases you. Next time when it happens, try running a circle while the killer chases you. Because uh, you just get like. Yeah. Oh, when that happens to me, it, I just I teleport. Oh, okay. Not you, bitch. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll let you continue. We, we started talking about Dead, Dead by Daylight. I just said it was my crack. Yeah. I said that before we started on the conversation. <laughs> yeah, I love that game, but I gave up. You can play with me, I'm a beast. <laughs> Serious? I lost all my skills there. I sent you a primary glass, you can go. But I'm just saying, I was being attacked. Oh, yeah. Add, add me, we played that by daylight together.
try to put money in your diaper? Please don't. <sighs> You're not Tommy Pickles. Ooh, sorry, um. Tommy Pickles. Sorry, uh, it's just. So what'd you say? Um, Rose is talking. What's what's happening? Oh, I was yelling at my daughter. She was trying to put change in her neighbor, oh. and I told her she's not Tommy Pickles. Yeah. Okay. Tell your daughter that's not a place to put money. You put money in a safe. She's got a piggy bank. Actually, it's a ducky bank. It's a little duck with a little fucking uh <coughs> build hat on it. You like go fucking try to fucking put that thing. She's shaking the money out of it so that she can stick it in her diaper. Hey Marcus, did you accept my friend invite? Oh yes, you did. I just did. Alright. Okay. I just didn't... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't usually add people if I don't have games in common with them, so that's kind of why I brought that up. Yeah, I'm surprised you played Dead by Daylight. Dude, that shit is my shit. I came from Friday the 13th, but Friday the 13th is, for me, it got super easy. One and two, it's just super broken. Yeah, Friday the 13th is easy to do. I am a broke bitch currently, so getting games when they come out is not an option. Hmm. Skip all that. Then you can run around with people. I have two children, so, I mean, I'm a broke bitch. Wait, bitch. Are you a female dog? <laughs> no. It's just a metaphor, man. Dude, has the cyberpunk world started? Now there's like out at anthropomorphic or whatever you would be. It's good that you brought it up. I can always check what game. Hey, who's this, um, oh, tune dude? Oh. <laughs> okay, so Blood Rose, you're not actually a bitch then. No. Hey, is uh, this tune dude you any of your friends? I'm sorry, Probably what? You. The, the dude in our party, the fourth dude. Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you the... What's up? Well, How's it going? Your money. All of your money. I'm not giving you all of it, because you'll just throw it all over. <laughs> money, money. There. Fallout 76. My fucking niece will just like eat food and shit. And just oh yeah, Marcus. She doesn't spit out food like that. Yeah. Well, no, not her. But she throws it. Dude, why do they do? Is there a reason? Like if they choose to spit it out, them. Like. Oh well, I don't know. Oh, My daughter likes to show me her food. Mm -hmm. See, dude. Hi. <laughs> that, no, that's yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. What's the hidden trophy? Can a bubble match I kill your I first driver? <laughs> I don't want anything else. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> pew pew pew. <laughs> pew pew pew. <laughs> Hands up for oh, yeah. Elsori. I watched something. It was like chicks can do laser sounds. Pew pew. But they, but they can't do machine gun sounds. <laughs> I don't remember what I was watching. Uh, they were saying like. Oh yeah, Dead the Daylight released a lot of DLCs. It might have been Gavin McInnes, that racist, that super racist Dossie dude who's married to like a Native American woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear this whole thing how like chicks can't do machine gun noises. <laughs> so he's total sexist. <laughs> I mean, there are certain sounds that are more difficult for women to make. Like, chicks can be like... Pew 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 pew! Or like... <laughs> but they can't be like... <laughs> I don't know that sound You're right. doing exactly <laughs> what 
I thought you were going to be doing with those coins. <laughs> Are you going to clean them up? <laughs> Dude, Your buddy is hungry? Like and he eats money? Like, oh. Or it, or whatever it was like. Yeah. And then, like, just, and then, like, you saw him float up on the ground. Like, <laughs> like all the coins just floated over there. <laughs> I would have seen the fuck out. <laughs> like, oh my god. I thought X Men was I would was be awesome. getting arrested for punting my child. And I, and I grew, yeah. <laughs> grew up on this shit. And I was freaked out. If I had a child and started doing like acting demonic and shit, I'd just freak out. Come on, demonic, I'm an ex I know, but just thinking about it, imagine walking to your child through the night and it's sat in like a dark corner with the night light on, singing under like a little fluffy thing, it'd be terrible. Uh, I'd like to play a simple game out of I'm not gonna play anything. <laughs> I might watch something. It's too early in the morning. I'm so groggy. And Mark, is what time is it now? Eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, on the east. Hello. Coast. Hello, how's it going? What's up? Hey, God's disciple. Hey guys, meet my good friend, God's disciple. He's in my friends list. He's God's disciple. Jesus has chosen him. I think I was in a party with God's disciple even yesterday or this. Can you have some more? Hey, uh, God's disciple, I'm just trying to finish off a story missions. Um, yeah. Oh, you want to walk? I already, I already finished them all. Yeah. I actually got 78th disciple. See what? Hey Marcus, how many books have you read? Marcus, on your spare time, do you enjoy reading? What do you do in your spare time? Damn, I reckon you'll make one hell of a professor. I'm just gonna grab some food, I'm freaking starving. Oh shit, it's almost 3 a.m. over here. Thank you. 
significance to the numbers in your name. Two different names with numbers, and I wonder if there's a significance to the numbers. I'm gonna put all the good time numbers in my name. Like, hey, oh, this person born in 989, or was that person born in 78? <laughs> That guy's disciple, you still there? Sweet. I was gonna eat first and I join you later. Somebody says, I'm not 
in the scenario, and I'm like, yeah, thank you. Uh, so, uh, no, I know it was something like uh, Amu, and Brother Amu, and then it was the fucking God of Wind, and I'm like, thank you, it's got water, and fucking ancient uh, uh, flood story of the Bible is based off the actual ancient Sumerian uh, story that was actually totally different. One god wanted to destroy human animals because they were just not good. They were 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 like, you don't even know what you're talking about. That's not real. I'm like, no, it is real. Read it. See my head. I'm not saying that, that should actually happen. I'm just saying that's the story. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in ancient Sumerian mythology. I'm not Zachary Sitchin. You're not God of the Internet. David Icke. But I know exactly what all of them fucking spit forth. Why wouldn't I? I'm looking at everything. They cover every angle. You can not fucking try to figure out what's going on, man. You gotta cover everything. And the fucked up thing is, you're, honestly, it really comes down to it's like that Descartes thing where he's like, I think, therefore I am. But really, it does come down to, I think, therefore, something exists. That's it. It doesn't mean that you're anything. It doesn't mean you think, therefore, something exists. Something has to. It doesn't mean that you do. It doesn't mean that uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dark fucking whatever, but. You know, there's a light. There's a light to it. Because when it comes to AI and all that shit, this the you can think. It doesn't mean anything. You think, therefore, something exists.
God's just like, are you there? Uh, guess not. Same too, man. You never know. Like, human minds thinking about something might actually really happen. I, I, don't, we fucking know. I don't believe in that whole wish thing and that Oprah shit, but. I'm back. So Welcome some, back. Something to the human or whatever. I'm just random. It sounds stupid. So I'm out. I'll I'm see out. you later, Brayden. Uh, hey, you're going, cause it's like. Yeah. Oh. I can't. I can't get in the game. Oh, why is that? Huh? You won't let me in the game. Um. Oh, I'm not. I'm not online. That's why I'm playing story mode. All right. Let me just jump on online and I'll just invite you. Alright, let me just Send jump on online and I'll just invite you. Yeah. I'll be friends with anybody who is a nice person. I gotta eat some food because it's like 10 or more. Peace. Where are you at? What? What city are you in? Um, so it's 11 o'clock for me. So I'm popping in by it. It's proper. I'm, I'm proper. <laughs> proper marker. Virginia, Tennessee, 
Hey, how's it going? shit has happened lately so I'm just kind of pissed off okay. yeah. yeah that's that's happens all the time I'm also going through that phase where I don't even want to see the fucking face of my friends I know yeah know. it's just uh, my girlfriend tried to Joseph. my girlfriend tried to gouge my eyes out and I just bashed her so I'm kind of upset about it well I'm more upset about other things then yeah, it's all good, you know. We all have our own business to like. You tired? Me? Pretty tired of life, actually. Well, some someday we'll get the new, new, new. I think it's the news. Yeah, it's the news, right? Yeah. Uh, for me, of course. I don't know what fancy way you plan on doing it, but. Yeah. Getting on a plane. So, you guys from the United Kingdom? No, I'm from know, Australia. I'm right below you, mister. From Australia. Australia. <laughs> yeah, meet my friend Australia. God's disciple. Not, not as in your goddamn apartment, just saying. I mean, like, as in below your ass. No, below your country. Below my country. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Yeah. The country is like the freaking out does help you a bit. It's the fucking Scandinavian. I'm a fan of those. American. Oh, okay then. Sorry. One of those guys. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just you say you're from guy. UK. I couldn't really tell. You, you asked us. Maybe you were also living there. No, no. I'm just asking you guys. I, you know, just your accents. Your accents, you know. Well, this ain't really my real accent, no, I just played 
I've just played so much fucking Red Dead and role played with these fucking faggots that I've just, I've just like stuck with this now. I don't really speak like this in class to say. I have a more American thing. I don't have this fucking hillbilly shit. Sometimes I get, so, so, sometimes I, you know, uh, I fucking say, you bloody fucking wankers, you know? <laughs> sometimes I do this freaking racist Irish accent. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Rock on, man. Oh, that's a good thing you walked into JC JCB. How are you, Mister? Well, oh, this I'm is really a chill party. I can tell Brayden, you that. Brayden's my best friend, and we have opposite tongues together. Thing is, is I can't stay up late no, no more because I'm, it's messing up my, my medicine schedule. The, the hell did you swallow? Your horse balls? What kind of voice is that? That's cool, bro. That's cool. Just tell him what happened to you, to God's disciple. Don't worry. You're in a safe place with God. Fuck. There's something that oh, God. I Fucking got beat hell. down and I got a red cage and two rods in my spine. And oh, I got a point and screw. Well, you really, you really, you really did? And yeah, they, he left me for dead. Did we see Who that? Who the fuck beat hey. you? I hate to hear that, bro. It was a Navy dude. Well, I Navy can't really dead. tell you who playing with me right now, mister. I'm just kidding. Because if you're not playing, it's freaking... It, it's right where my nose is, and my face, my, my uh, cheekbones... Is, this, is he fucking with me, or just tell me now, because if he isn't, I'm going to feel think... fucking sorry, but if he is, I'm going to feel like an idiot. I don't think he is. <laughs> who, who beat you up? A guy that just got out of Navy. That's um, Brian Waterson. I just had, I just had that surgery last year myself. What surgery you had? What? Oh, I, 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 I got these headphones and I can't. I can't. Gee, it <laughs> I talked to six nose. people. Like that. It makes me sound like I got this voice and I can't help it. Why the hell are you not in the fucking hospital getting. <laughs> I was in a short term coma. Damn, dude. Tell me. Well, I can't Damn. tell if he played with us because that's not like it could literally be his freaking mouth broken, but it could also be him just taking the piss. But I don't think. Oh, maybe I do. I don't know. No way. Piss people what don't talk like that. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think it's legit? Because it doesn't sound good. I believe he's legit, man. I don't me know. too, I it's believe it. Legit to me. Because piss people don't sound like that. Don't I have a plate and it screws in my no, face? No, what? Oh, no, plus, oh, no. You know, why would you? Yeah, I want to prove it. Fuck it, don't. Don't You know, why would he lie about it, you know? Yeah. Like well, I know people it. would, so trust me, everybody has a fucking true. reason to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right, I mean, people lie about anything, but you know, why though? I mean, that's, that's stupid. Daddy, listen <laughs> to my dad. Daddy. I'm not very gullible. What? Tell me I have a plate and screws in my face, sitting and I get uh, beat down uh, by God. Right. You're a real I fucking funny shit, shit aren't you? I'm going to take right now. It's just some guy that wants to come out. Sorry, guys. I'm going to fucking die from lumbago. Yeah, and I know all about the uh, the, the hospital stays and all that crap, though, man. I had neck surgery last year. I broke my neck, man. I had, a, I had my neck replaced. I had four, four discs replaced. I was Shit. down for about eight months. Fuck. Like what happened me, bro. to our brother? I'm still on my meds. I'm still on meds for it and all that crap. So it's, I've I, been on meds. I was a bricklayer. I've been on meds for problem. 20 years. You might be on the rest of your life. Damn, bro. 
Yeah, they got me on those oxies, man, and all that crap. You know, I've been taking this for about four, four years now, so all that medicine, it gives me a little sluggish sometimes, but... I got, I got a lot of time to game anymore, though. I love it. <laughs> all right, let me know when you join my session. I'll just send you an invite. Some reason I didn't have a reason. Uh, it didn't give me a problem joining your site this time. Yeah, I uh, fixed it. Now. All right, cheers, bro. Sorry to interrupt you, bro. That's cool. I'm joining up with you. Yeah, I'm joining up with you. So how's your neck now? It's man, a lot better. A lot better than it was. Bro, I got. To, I, I got. Dude, I can do like I do 50 push-ups kind of easy any day. I was a bricklayer for 16 years. And then after this, like, like, I got to where I couldn't, I couldn't even do one push-up, bro. That's, I went, I bad, bad shape. I went through right. the surgery and physical therapy, all that stuff, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm back to about 75% of what I was before my injury. You know, I'm, I'm pretty close. I'll never be what I was, but, you know, yeah. I'm making it. Don't have faith in the Lord, you know, he'll perform his miracle. That's right. That's yeah. definitely right. Because Jesus said, you know, he can't heal a person unless they have faith in the Lord. That's it. That's it. You're right, man. 100%. If it wouldn't have been for God, man, Jesus, I, would, I wouldn't have been through any of this crap, dude. I got to a point in my life I was about to give up, you know, on everything. And just, you know, just so much goes goes on sometimes, you know. Uh, I was going through a divorce, you know. I just, just lost my dad a couple months before that, you know. And life, life can be, you know what life can be, man. It's really hard on me sometimes, man. Yeah. I stopped believing in God and I walked away from God and you know next minute my life fucked up so hard so is was there really a God yes is it really Satan yes definitely no there isn't there is there's Satan only <laughs> well uh there's definitely Satan but there's definitely a God too because yeah some of people they have they have gifts of being able to see certain things, you know, and experience certain things that other people don't, you know, people's like, a lot of people say, if I could just see God, or if I could just see this, I would believe in it. Well, some people actually have the, the, uh, the luckiness, I guess you could say. I consider myself lucky. I've experienced things to know that there is a God. I know there's an afterlife, and there's no question that, you know, so a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't have that chance to experience that, so mm. with me, I know. I broke, I, broke my <laughs> I think that's just schizophrenia, to be honest, but... <laughs> You can, you can you can call it schizophrenia, but I had a near death experience, so uh, you know that's that's totally different. <laughs> schizophrenia. Yeah, near death. Yeah, what on the operating table? Well, let me tell you something. It, just seeing yourself in the mirror is proof of the God. Uh, true, true that, I mean, you know, just I mean, the way everything is laid out, dude, the math of the universe, everything, you know. Can I just ask a question? Time. Gotcha. Who gotcha. in this party is stoned? Because someone else is stoned. Who's stoned? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, because, mate, join the club. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm smoking a bowl right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just a plan. Like, God added yeah, 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 yeah. into the world for a reason. Yes. <laughs> I'll give to you all seed bearing plants. For food, for you. Oh, oh, sorry for not introducing myself. I'm Jake. I'm <laughs> so, Joe. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. You got the J, man. Hey, you got the J going on. All my brothers yeah. know. I got Jason, Joseph, Joe, Jeffrey, my brothers know. <laughs> we all Jakes. <laughs> do you wanna what? Do you know? Do you want to know something really sad? Have you got Netflix, anyone? Oh, yeah. You have to watch this program called Making a Murderer. That is just... It's... Yeah. Yeah, that's just crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I'll join your game in a minute. I'm just, um... Going to St. Denise to get a haircut. <laughs> Can you do heist on this game? 
No. What's the best way of making money, in your opinion? Fishing. Fishing? Bit of both. Yeah. Depends I just on how well shit. you keep the pelt. If you lasso it, it's better off. <laughs> yeah, I've learned. I learned that this pretty quickly. <laughs> you, you shoot them up, and it ruins them. <laughs> I paid for level forty-five earlier. Oh, my bad, Raven. So Raiden, did you overhear my conversation earlier with the with the guys about Jesus and all, and all that? You know? Yeah, I heard I it. it. I was starving too. I, I was sort of it. hearing everything, and everything you said is all true. So I don't know. That guy is just. And uh, another thing yeah. is uh, that guy you're talking to, Marcus. He's kind of yeah. high, so don't waste your time with those yeah. people. Just know it. You know, people that know it all and don't know anything. You know, people that act like they know everything and know shit. You know, and, and uh, people like that, I like to call them out. Now the Bible says that they make the wisest people the foolish people. Exactly. You're right. I ran my truck off a cliff. That was uh, as high as regular oak trees. Oh shit. And and it broke my back. Hobo Joe. Who's that? <laughs> in my neck. Who's that? <laughs> Trying to look at it. You know what? You brought up an interesting oh, subject. Bitch ass. I shot my ass. <laughs> yeah, time to go shoot him in the head too. <sighs> Yo, join Ravens. Oh, is that you? Okay then. I'll send you an invite. That's me, I believe. Who else is in the party? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's media. I'm, I'm trying to get my little smoke station down here. There's a posse going around, <laughs> going around killing people. They killed me for no yeah, reason. Yeah, they killed they got, me. They got my ass too well ago. A raid and you might want to start moving. Fuck and then he leaves with hell. I'll come back, I'll fucking Sorry, destroy. I'm to, this is big foot. I'm, I'm trying to finish my little smoke session. I'm, I'm about to be with y'all. <laughs> Yeah, gotta, get my, gotta get my smoke on, man. <laughs> you gotta capture a train and jump off of it with two uh, hordes. We get is money someone in this party disabled? Whose horse is this? It's mine. Nobody, I'm not disabled. Just take it if you want. <laughs> nah, I was trying to figure out whose horse it was. It's just the way I speak. Okay. Uh, 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 so if do you, if you crouch, do you disappear from the radar? Twat. This guy just slit my throat. Oh shit! He did. I want to fucking kill him. Oh Jesus! <laughs> That's what people do in England. She's bloody. <laughs> fucking bloody bastards, damn wankers. <laughs> the wanker, dude, what, I got a question. What the fuck is a wanker? I'm from the United States. I've always liked that fucking word. I mean, I'll be like, hi. A person a wanker, that likes to like masturbate. Do you know what a wank is? <laughs> I mean, I do. <laughs> you certainly oh. will. Well, I mean, I know they like on terms, you know, watch a movie, they'll be like, you fucking wanker. <laughs> when you bust a fat knot, you said. <laughs> when you bust a fat knot. Wait, who's disabled in this party, Ice? That is, uh, he's not disabled, man. He's having a rough time, bro. He got his ass beat, apparently, and got hurt, and. Yeah. Right, go ahead, dude. Road rage, oh, that happens. Road rage. 
follows me and I don't know what I did wrong to the say but follows me and beat the shit well, so you got beaten up badly to extent where you're starting to speak like a retard that's not, that's not nice motherfucker yeah don't be a gronk about that yeah Through a big change, right? Like the last, last little bit, right? I live in the UK, but yeah, I could still get hold of a gun if I wanted one. Easy. Oh shit, they're everywhere here, bro. I'm actually in the country right now, man. I'm, I'm down in Kentucky right now. I'm, uh, I got some family down here. I'm in the, I'm in the hills, in the hills of Kentucky, man. <laughs> At the moment. Oh, shit. Yep. What's up, Jigsaw? What's up, Jigsaw? What's right. up, Rolling through the hills, smoking in those, sipping on gin and juice, laid back. Ah. <laughs> 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 My mind's on my money and my money's on my mind. Alright, I'm done. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm joining you, ladies. Who's talking? Come on, bloke. Oh, come on, horse. Why you keep running into stuff? You can't jump over that? Race horse. I'm a stoner. Mate, have you ever been stabbed before? Yeah, some shit fucking almost chopped off my thumb. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I got stabbed. I got stabbed by my girlfriend, y'all, six months ago. I had to get 20. I had to get 